Sweetwater is your one-stop shop for all your band and orchestra gear needs. Whether you're buying or renting, we have the country's largest...
Hello? Can you guys finally hear me? <laughs> uh, baby streamer's first stream. I'm sorry. I feel like you should be able to hear me now. How are you? How are all of you? Welcome to my humble abode. Nick is actually talking with somebody else. If you can see, there's my plant. You can see that stitch. And maybe this is where you can see all the magic happens if you follow us on YouTube and or Instagram. And if you're new on Twitch. Hi. Yay. Oh my god. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you all for, for those of you who are saying yes on chat. Because... <sighs> It's baby's first stream. Oh my gosh. How y'all doing? What y'all doing for Halloween? I, for those of you who have been following me for more than a year, I've been slithering now two years in a row. And I just didn't think of anything to do this year. But I really love the getup that I have. It's like a fancy slithering type of thing. Come on guys, give me some custom ideas. What 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 did y'all do for Halloween? What did y'all do for Halloween? Alright, and today what Hi Hey Bryce, hey Martin, how y'all doing? Pat, yeah, I'm actually feeling very, like, actually feeling well, finally. Um, I had like a bit of a cold these past few days. And I don't know, it hit me out of nowhere. It actually like, it got me out of nowhere. I think it's because I don't sleep. So if any of you were to know anything about me is that I don't sleep at all. Like at all. <laughs> I'm a really bad sleeper, so that probably has something to do. Um, you know. The Scream franchise. I think Scream for me, I think they they got better. Like they, Scream went like through a parabola for me. Like they it, they got really good um, for the last two, but then like the first one was really good, and then it kind of started like a decline. I watched them actually like earlier this year, non for, for non spooky season. Um, so yeah. I think like I, I'm actually I'm a new inductee to horror movies because if you had met me earlier, um, I completely hated horror movies. I hated it. Um, so this year I've actually watched way too many horror movies. Um, I'm just a I'm just a little baby. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's 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 my vibe. Um, but. I hope you're having fun with the Scream franchise. I usually watch Harry Potter, by the way, around this time of year, and I am not watching Harry Potter. I haven't watched a single one. I think it's just gotten old. After eight years with Nick watching Harry Potter, you know, no, don't, not a thing. Happy Halloween, Ireland. Ooh, the Green Isle. You bought a, po a Pokemon onesie, Marlin? Which Pokemon? All the trick or treatings. Wow, I can't believe you guys are even watching all the way from Austria. <laughs> it's insane. I don't know how to um, 
for those all, all of you who are in YouTube, I'm trying to like turn off. Um, trying to turn off like some sort of slow, like it's like slow chat and I have no idea why. <laughs> I have no idea why. So I'm trying to turn that off for y'all because it's kind of hard to um, to do that. Um, mm. Yeah, no. There you go. All right. Let me see y'all. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How, are y'all ready? Yeah, the, the UK's trick or treating right now. 9.45. My UK blokes. I'm actually horrible at accent. I'm sorry. I, I'm horrible at accents. Hey, Boo. How's it going? Mm -mm -mm -mm. I've actually done lives in TikTok. I've done like two or three before. But it's all been all by myself. I've always liked live streaming. But my partner isn't really fond of live streaming. <laughs> Abby R, where are you from? So you're saying that it's really cold where you are from. I am currently in New England and it dipped to 40 degrees and I, 40 degrees Fahrenheit. And it, it sucks. <laughs> Bryce, you dressed as Princess Diana. Pictures or it didn't happen. Okay, Nick is currently attending to a phone call. So for y'all, y'all, of who know Nick. Nick is a busy boy. Um, so you know, he's a he a busy boy. We'll be playing some games here soon, which in which any of you can participate. Really, any of you will be able to participate in these games. Um, just figured I'd break out some games for y'all. Oh, sounds like Nick is Nick might be coming soon. Not a big fan of horror, but comedy horror like Chucky or like Gremlins. Actually, funny enough, Nick calls me a Gremlin. <laughs> Nick does call me a Gremlin um, because I, um, if I don't eat, I definitely. Ironically, it's like the other way. If I, I don't eat, I do turn into a gremlin. Sebastian Guten Abend, I believe. You're in Germany, so that's why I said that. And I don't know if I said it correctly, so I'm sorry if I didn't. <laughs> Happy Halloween to Ohio, Dalton. Thank you. Thank you for the tip on the game. Again, this is baby's first stream. I'm sorry. Sorry if y'all are being inconvenienced by this right now. But thank you, Faceless. I appreciate it. I don't know if that worked or not. Not bad for an, a London accent. Um, I'm actually pretty horrible at accents. Um, but I like sometimes get them right because um, I'm a polyglot. So sometimes I'm able to get things right, but sometimes I'm not. Feminine man, when, I'm, when am I getting married? Nick, when are we getting married? <laughs> you really ask me those questions. <laughs> That's like the quickest way to get Nick not live on the stream. You can see him in the corner of the screen right there. We're done. They're asking when we're getting married, Nick. I need to stop. He says you need to stop. Come sit. 
Come sit. What are you doing? He's the little king. The other little king. When are we getting married? I'm not answering that question. Come on. It, this needs to pick up the mic. I'm gonna get off. I need, I need a compromise <laughs> in front of all these people. There's no compromise. There's no chat. You're kind of in the corner of the camera. <laughs> this camera. Can you tell we're first time streamers? Mm -hmm. What am I supposed to do? We're on super. Stream? Well, see all of these people, these nice people talking to you, and you just need to talk to the camera. Hey, baby, I see that. Aw, look at it. People, people love Nick. You're in the Kokomo, Jeffrey? What's Jesus. It, what's Kokomo? Mili, ¿cómo estás en Argentina? Amor. Amor en Argentina. Say hola. 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 Dile hola, Mili. Blow right. No, we're not going to do that. <laughs> Blow raspberries on Nick's belly button. Yeah, that's not stream. I, I think Twitch and YouTube would definitely ban us for that. <laughs> uh, Astrid, no, he's not sleeping. He's right here. He wanted to sleep, though. I was trying to think about napkin, and, you know, you make me... Yeah, it was like I looked like I had a. I look like James Charles in that like, I don't know if y'all have seen like a. What what did he? He had like a bunch of like brightener on in, in his face, and there's a picture circulating around him. How, you from, how many people we have? Seventy six. Seventy six viewers. Yeah. I don't know anything about Twitch. Is that good or bad or everything? <laughs> It's just people who want to come hang out in our stream. Mm -hmm. Hey Nate, in South Carolina. Oh, uh, see Sebastian approved my my German friend approved my German. Your ger you have a German accent? No, no, no. I said German? Guten Abend, which was uh, I think good evening or good night. What are the Let's most just... recent ones? The bottom? Yeah, right here. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Domingo, ¿cómo estás? En la República Dominicana. Yeah, by the way, guys, all my streams are just going to be like, if you're talking to me in English, I'll talk to you in English. If you're talking to me in Spanish, I'll talk to you in Spanish. All the Spanish. French or Italian. I will try my hand at German, but I cannot guarantee anything. You can't speak any German. What do you mean, can't guarantee it? Huh? You can't speak any German. Exactly. Well, I just, I just said good evening to my friend in Germany. Oh, we need to do more YouTube. We really do. We just kind of like got bogged down in like Faceless. life and things and the million things going on. And then we didn't really know what to do with YouTube because we wanted to do more. Like, I don't know, we, we did like vlogs for the last couple of years, but it was always the same summer vlogs. So we didn't know what vlogs to do. And then we did that vlog and switch them, but that was not a hit. Nobody watched that. Yeah, none of you um, liked None of you liked it. Why? Yeah, people seem to like like the just talking while we cook stuff. So we need to do more of that. And we filmed one the other day, but then it didn't come out right, so we just didn't post it. So soon we'll, we'll definitely have to post another one because I actually like the talking ones. We just need conversations that we can have. So if anybody has conversation ideas, they should send us those, and we can talk through some topics. That'll give us something to talk about, which makes YouTube much easier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's like the oddest thing. I will get on and make a YouTube video about anything. We just don't know what to talk about it. So. Ideas are appreciated. Ideas are appreciated, for sure. Um, cause... Happy oh. Halloween, Damien. I'm, I just told Dan I'm a zebra. It's black and white. That's, that's my whole costume. Yep. Angel. Saludos, tío. A España. Um, but yeah, we didn't mean to sa stop doing YouTube videos. YouTube videos, we really loved our long format. I loved our long format content. Just life also has gone like really in the way, um, so we're we're definitely giving this a try. Um, I also just because I love spending time live with y'all. I love the real time reactions, and I'm hoping to play some games over the years or just chat or you know do that stuff. And I'm dragging him on for the ride. I don't really do video games that much, but I'll 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 talk occasionally. Nick, so so I don't have the hand-eye coordination. It's not very good. <laughs> I just I just die and lose. Um, Nick, what did you think about the Scream franchise? I don't like it. It's boring. It feels repetitive. You think it feels repetitive? Yeah, a little bit repetitive. I like a good story. I feel like it's just like they're just playing off of like the same thing now. 
Mm. Uh, da, da, wait, you already scrolling. Oh. Do you guys like the night like the Nightmare Before Christmas? Oh, do you guys like the Nightmare Before Christmas? Goes for both a Halloween movie and a Christmas movie. I don't hate the Nightmare Before Christmas. I feel like I used to watch it when I was little. I, it's not like my favorite. It's not like on a list of like go-to movies though. Really, I, I if it was like on during the holidays back when TV was a thing, uh, I would watch it. So that, you that's know, my level of interest. Did you ever watch like the Hallmark like Thirty-One Days to Halloween yeah, or something like those? Like whenever it was on, I would watch it. But there was something always about the claymation that creeped me the f out. And I could never. Also, I grew up in a religious household. Hello. So like basically everything was like claymation demonized. weirds me out too though. Yeah. I, I don't know about claymation. It's just it weirds me out a little bit. Yeah. So we. I mean. Like Coraline, like I haven't watched. Either way, I do love the soundtrack of The Nightmare Before Christmas. I think it's masterful. I, like I, as far as claymation goes, The Nightmare Before, Before Christmas is definitely like the only one I've ever thought of that I actually like enjoyed. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I haven't watched any of the the sequels or prequels. There's sequels and prequels. I don't know. Like, there's Before the Christmas. Corpse Bride, and then there's Frank and well, I, I didn't even know they were related. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't know. Anyway, hey, hi, Stefan from Slovakia. How, how late is in Slovakia? But thank you for tuning in. How are things in New England? How are things in New England? Too warm. I'm really hoping we get a lot of snow this winter so I can snowmobile and ski. And right now, today's the first cold day we've actually mm -hmm. had in forever. So I'm a little scared. It's going to be a warm winter. Because I think if it's going to be winter, it might as well be like all in. Get the snow and get all the excitement. The like middle of the road stuff where it's just wet and damp and cold is no good. Like if it's going to be winter, give me all the snow and freezing cold. I might as well have, like, at least winter sports to do. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you skip, you scroll up, and you skip everything. Go up. You scroll too fast. How am I supposed to read? <laughs> Something like Switzerland. Baby couples next stream. Um, Daniel wasn't nude. That's why we didn't watch Switzerland. Nudes, that's what everyone wants to watch. Jeez. Yeah, guys, I'm sorry. We can't give it all away. That would be no it fun. It's, it's the, the mystery of it is what keeps it intriguing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, someone that watched the Switzerland vlog, thank you. That was a great trip, by the way. If anyone hasn't watched it, we had a lot of fun. Uh, and we just really filmed, like, kind of authentically what was going on the whole trip, which was nice. But it was not the most well-received. Yeah. Uh, Faceless, thank you so much. Um, do more cooking vlogs. Nick, what, what's on your cooking repertoire? Past, all, it's all pasta dishes, so if you have pasta dishes that you want me to vlog about, then uh, that's most of what I cook. <laughs> we cook some stuff. I don't know. I feel like we do pasta like three times a week. Yeah. Pasta is usually like, well, two times a week for sure. Usually Wednesdays and sometimes a bit earlier. Uh, it's two days, like Sunday and Wednesday is the, the go-to. And then usually there's a Friday pasta night, depending on how I'm feeling. Uh, but those were the, the two go to days. Do y'all see him like coming up with these? I'm like, trying to think of more reasons like, to have pasta. <laughs> I was actually like, debating what to have tonight and that maybe it'll be pasta. Maybe. But maybe not. Um, Hard to say. Maybe not. We could That's just not vlog if we did pasta. We could, we also make or we could, but we could make the tacos. We or do the fajitas. fajitas every week too. I just don't know if I feel like those tonight. But I don't want pasta tonight. That's not important. Okay, guys, vote vote in chat. Should we have pasta or should we have pasta. should we have tacos? Please, pasta. please. All of you have seen the torture in social media of how much pasta I eat a week, and I'm still not putting on weight. But I'm still I'm still keeping those abs tight, nice uh, and tight. In X Zan six six eight says he misses adventure vlogs, cooking and car content. We didn't do enough adventure vlogs this year. We really didn't. We need to do more. We'll try to do some this year. I don't know if we can find a way to do winter ones. They're hard because you're so yeah. bundled up with clothing. We didn't do a lot of car stuff because <clears throat> the weather was so gross. How many weekends out of the? We didn't drive like the Aston Martin. We no, but drove the this weekends year. out of the summer that were. So there were 16 I was like weekends. 13 or out of 16 or something. The whole summer it was just rained every weekend, and I never liked to drive my cars in the rain because they get so dirty. Mm -hmm. So we just didn't do a lot of car stuff this year. It was pretty sad, actually. Yeah, unfortunately. Um, but the, we actually the the um, um, what was I gonna say? The Aston Martin we took out for a while, 
and we drove a few times this year but it was just too rainy it was hard to drive it was uh the ferrari we drove a decent amount but we only ever do like short trips with that mm-hmm, and then mm-hmm. the mercedes we haven't driven in like years so i don't even know if anyone's really seen that other than in the background we drove the porsche once which was really sad actually yeah uh and then yeah. but hey it started up the Barely. Porsche started up. I need to drive up again before <laughs> the snow comes, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. So for those, late. yeah. So for those of you who don't know, Nick worked on this Porsche since he was a teen. Um, he built it from the ground up, and last year it was giving us some trouble trying to start up. But this Just year it we actually don't, we don't use it enough, so like fuel gets old and stuff. But it, it runs after you get going. It just needs a little love. Obrigado, Verus. Obrigado. Really appreciate all my fans from Brazil cute um hello from old england hi uk <laughs> we like it we've been there in a while we need to go to london yeah again i so, loved Lon- we were in london for a day and that day was actually pretty good didn't you remember london was fun it was more than a day though we stayed over Wait, it, it was, was like a day it was like a couple of days yeah it was a couple of days i really wanted to watch harry potter and the cursed child and unfortunately it was like a two-day function, and we were staying for like 24 hours because we were flying to Nice the other day. Um, so, yeah. It's supposed to be a relatively dry and warm winter in Chicago. I don't know how you'll do it in Chicago because Chicago is windy as F. It's, it's insane. I went on April once. I, I've only been to Chicago once in April. Mm-hmm. It was so windy. I've been a couple times. I used to go there for work a decent amount. It's a it's way bigger city than I ever realized it was, too. Treehouse closed for the season. Uh, we usually use it like at least once or twice in the winter, so we'll probably go up again. And we have to go up to take the dock out at some point soon, too. We actually need to go do that. Because um, we usually tape, so our windows are single pane, and we actually need to like cover it with this plastic so it's livable <laughs> in the winter. Um, cause otherwise the wind just m- blows in and no matter how much heating you do, there's just, it's not gonna happen. We have a vote for pasta from Millie Dan. Uh-huh. And then Jay Phoenix, this is tacos. Andrew said tacos. You yeah, know what? I'm gonna start a poll. I'm gonna start a poll. I'm gonna start a poll. All the tacos. I'm just gonna start a poll right now. And y'all can bow. Um... We fight about what to have for dinner every night. This is mm-hmm. how we come up a poll. There you go. I don't know if, if the poll will be live. If it's not live, I'm sorry. I don't even know how that works. Oh, wow. Now it's covering my face. Okay. Type 1 for pasta, type 2 for tacos or whatever. Or whatever. Jeffrey says pasta. I'm, I'm just voting. I'm, I prefer all the pasta people are my favorites now. Mmm. Mmm. Betty, hello. How are you doing? Thank you for joining from Twitch. Love you. Um. Well, what game franchise? from YouTube? How does that work? It does really YouTube and then Twitch. Them? Yeah. I'm multi streaming right now. Our YouTube people are calling me on Twitch. I don't know what that means or how that works, but that's interesting. So, Nick basically watched me slave away in this computer for like months. But he did He doesn't know. He just gets to sit here and be pretty. That's his job in this entire relationship. I work really. hard every day. Mm-hmm. I, I, got, I got a lot of things. I'm very busy. Busy boy. You would be surprised. <laughs> anyway, um, Darren, what game franchises do I like? I. I haven't played video games in forever. What has been a video game that you've played recently that you've liked? I was thinking like old franchises. I used to play like Prince of Persia I loved, Midnight Club. I'm talking like old stuff. Uh, Red Dead Revolver, that was one. Yep. Uh, or just Red Dead, I don't even remember which one. I don't know, I, I played all the old, that was like PS2 stuff. I don't know if I have any Overwatch, we played Overwatch. We did that for a while. Yeah, we did that friends. for a while. But, um. Currently, I'm hooked on Destiny 2, um, even though that's kind of like a, that's a, um, <laughs> like a, right now it's a, I don't know, if you follow Destiny 2, it, it's gone. That community's been on fire for the last 24 hours. <laughs> um, 
So currently hooked on Destiny 2, but I also play... Today we'll be playing some Jackbox games because I want to play with y'all. I think like that's a great way to introduce a stream. Um, and I love you all, so that's one thing. And then the other thing... Um, Nintendo has a really good place in my heart. I've played Apex, I've played uh, the Monster Hunter series, if you're familiar with those. So, I don't know, I'm, I've I've been an overall gamer everywhere. Oh, the Pokemon series, like Pokemon. I haven't played Pokemon in a while, though. So. Hey, Abhishek, how you doing? Mm -mm -mm. Jay Phoenix voted for tacos. I saw. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Man. Mm-hmm. Sebastian also voted for tacos. All of, all of my friends are, are pulling through. Y'all are pulling through. Toys aren't fun unless you play with them. You're not wrong if you're talking about the cars because they just are a big chore unless we use them and we did not use them. Oh, toys aren't fun unless you play with them? Yeah. I agree. We haven't ever done any track days because it's, it's kind of like an effort to get the cars like approved for most tracks. Like they have a lot of rules mm -hmm. uh, and you have to get them inspected and stuff and we just never have time to chase all those things down. So we, we really don't do that. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm very particular with my car. So I'd be a little nervous too about other drivers and people. And I'd probably drive too slow because I don't want to break things. So it probably wouldn't be very fun for me to do a track day. I'm a little bit paranoid. <laughs> All right. I think I'm like... Uh, from Sri Lanka. You ever... You're watching from Sri Lanka? Romesh, you're a real one. Have Aren't you, you like Sri Lanka? Like, is, are they waking up or are they falling asleep? India was on here too. Somebody was in India. Yeah. Or in the... Yeah, it's, that's, that's late. They're in the same area. Uh... Do you have, pasta, do you have, we got another pasta vote. <laughs> are you Call watching the out. are you watching the chat just to see if there's pasta? Have you ever been to Ar I'd love to go to Argentina. That's it looks really pretty there. Have you ever come to Argentina? I would I would want to go to Argentina. Argentina. When I go to Buenos Aires, I want to go to Cordoba. Um, because I had I have a friend from there. Mili, I don't know if you know Tulia Costa, but you should go stream Crisalida because I love her. Um. Do you ever do track days in any of the cars, Nick? I answered that already. You weren't paying attention. I wasn't. I'm sorry. But wait, what track would we do it on if we did? I don't know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't know the answer to that. Uh, no worries, of course, you're going to enjoy your shorts. DB9 is gorgeous. Thank you. We actually really love it. That's probably the car we drive the most, actually. It's the most comfortable. Um, it's just an easy car to use. Just comfortable. You can drive anywhere in it. Yeah. What's the next big trip? Uh, probably Italy or Colombia. We haven't decided. Colombia. Yeah. I'm taking the guy to Colombia. I swear to God. I'm taking the guy to Colombia. Yeah. I want to take him to Cartagena, Barranquilla, Santa Marta, San Andres. So all of the coastal cities, I, I want to take him there. Because the guy is a big history and architecture kind of buff i would say he likes he likes history and so sure. um there's there's a lot of historic places there not that there's not any in bogota but bogota is kind of cold and to go from here in the winter to go to bogota for like eh, weather because usually that's bogota i'm not I'm not thrilled about that so going to the coast and have him dance some some vallenato hey, I, don't, I don't dance <laughs> You should have seen him. You should have seen him try to dance with my this sisters. Is as much and I. dancing as I do. He was trying to dance, and I thought it was cute. Maybe he was I trying like to dance at my birthday. Stepple, but that's about it. For but dancing. you guys will never see that recorded. It's one of those things where he he has to be comfortable with y'all. Yeah. So if you ever want to see him dancing on stream, y'all better make him comfortable here. Um, your DB9 Volante is I gorgeous. I answered that. You're really behind. Oh Jesus! Jeez, he's falling behind, guys. I'm sorry. Dennis, yeah, we're seeing the, the YouTube chat. We can see both Twitch and YouTube. Uh, uh, uh. Why are you both all dressed up? Why are we usually all see, up? this is, oh, I don't know. It'd Half be weird to be live if, if I didn't have clothes on. I'd feel, I'd be like, we do a lot of shit, the TikToks <laughs> yeah. and YouTubes and everything, but I, I don't know if I could do like an entire live without clothes on. I would feel self-conscious. 
Yeah, um, I for some reason live feels more exposed. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I, yeah. can't, I can't delete it and edit it. Mm -hmm. That's true. Um, we we are always half naked though. Like we were both work from home. We're both usually pretty shirtless, watching or typing on our. Bryce says we need to do two plus margaritas. So tacos plus margaritas. Um, margaritas do. So this is a margaritas favorite. sound good. I'll Talk to them about Seed Magnolias. <laughs> <laughs> It's it's terrible. The writing is terrible, but it's so terrible that it's actually like the mute. It's hysterical. I'm crying, laughing, but they have like a margarita night, which is why I think Dan brought that back up. Yeah, yeah. So there's this like, if you have a Netflix, there's a show, and you live in the United States. There's a show called Sweet Magnolias, and it's quite honestly written for the housewife, white housewife, and the writing is so bad. But Nick and I have to laugh. It's about it every night. It's kind of like a ritual at this point because it's um, like the problems that they have are not really problems. They're just, you know, drama. Dan, mandami un saluto in italiano. Yeah, come on. Speak He's the time. Italian one. I only speak pasta. Uh <laughs> come on, you're the Italian one. Scroll down so I can read. Oh, come on, Alessandro's waiting. You're really bad at this whole scrolling thing, so I can Say read ciao, it. Alessandro. Ciao, Alessandro. There you go. I like Nick's other costume. What was your other costume? Maybe the YouTube video, my onesie. That was a, not a costume. That's not By the way, Nick bought me that onesie for Christmas for me. Was that and for he wears it himself. Nick does this thing in Christmas where he buys things. That and are going to be utilitarian yes. for himself. You buy presents that you like <laughs> for you, and then you share. Sharing is a, the true form of love. Get into Cyberpunk 2077 and Red Dead Redemption 2. Red Dead Redemption, we tried to play, right? Yeah. I think maybe. I don't know. You should visit some places outside of London. Check out Manchester, York, Newcastle, and Liverpool. I've heard Newcastle's pretty. I want to go to Newcastle. We but need to do. We just need to do like a dedicated UK trip. Yeah. Greetings from Ukraine. It's 11 p.m. there. Okay, that's pretty late, but that's uh, we're late night people, so we go to bed like yeah. midnight. So 11 p.m. is probably what when I'm starting to think about sleepies. He's. <laughs> After I'm usually asleep on the couch before that though. I, <laughs> I was eat, gonna say I eat dinner and then I fall asleep and then I wake up at 10 30 11 and then I go to bed So I, I guess technically I'm asleep before that, but I it's like a, I, It's a, my nap appetizer is what it's been called Yeah, that's his that's his nap appetizer Anyway, uh, Severin <laughs> Greetings to Ukraine sending you love in Ukraine. I can't believe it's 11 p.m. There you are amazing for watching Hopefully we can lull you to sleep with a bunch of banter and BS. Fallout. I bought Dan Fallout as a gift once He oh, never, never played it. <laughs> he never That's tried true. it. That is so true. Nick was being very sweet This is around the time where he was starting to realize that video games were like a thing that I really liked and he bought me a ton of video games for Christmas one day um, or well, one Christmas. I think this was years ago. And he bought me Fallout, and that Fallout has remained untouched. Um, he did buy me Uncharted, but Uncharted, I played that entire thing the way through. And then Skyrim. Yeah, that was a cool game, Uncharted. Actually, I watched a lot of it, but I didn't play it. And then t you get Tom Holland shirtless, and then it's just like, Deal. it's a nice, it's a nice thing. No, you don't get Tom Holland shirtless, by the way, in the game. False, false advertisement. My wiggle dance, that's it. That is my entire, that is the only dance I have. That's the only dance you have? That's all I got. Mili, bueno, San Carlos de Bariloche. Lo tengo en cuenta. Si vamos a visitar Argentina. If we visit Argentina, we need to go to San Carlos de Bariloche. Okay. Yes, we'll write it down. Okay, we'll write it down. Assassin's Creed has been all, I liked Assassin's Creed. I actually did play that one back in PS3 days. I have not been a big video gamer since I was like, PlayStation 3 is like the last video game system I used a decent amount. I mean, we used the PS4 a little bit, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not huge in the video games, so I'm really way behind. I feel like. Yum, yum. Oh, uh, thank you for saying my complexion's awesome. I appreciate you. 
Alright guys. Well, because <laughs> Mika's gonna need his appetizer soon. Also, by the way, he works out. I work out. I'm very I still proactive. Have to exercise, I know. I'm very proactive and I work out at the beginning of the day. People interrupt me all day, so it's really hard for me to exercise during the day and not just get interrupted. And Nick exercises at night. Um, so, uh, we can get started with some games. Um. Who's that creepy guy? So, one sec. Let me. Baby first trip remember? Because how did it all down? I know. How am I supposed to hit people? Oh wait, they're not talking. They're not talking. Everybody's like, I, we're gone. We're down. We're out of this fucking stream. Um. I don't know. Oh, it's volume. because what? They turn it down right there on the speakers. Uh oh. No, but the desktop. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. I don't know how this is coming through. I don't know how this is coming through. But um, you should turn that way down. It feels high. I feel like you should be like halfway so they can hear us talk. Just talk. I mean, th this is this is us talking. Yeah, and that's you trying to. That should be less. The Jack and Box sound should be half that. I feel what? like it's too loud. I don't know, guys. Is the is the chat is the thing loud? I don't know. You guys need to let us know because. There. I don't know. If it's if it's loud, I'm sorry. Scotty says that, that he's not sure who has better abs. Nick when he flexes because Dan, he's Dan, got the line in the middle, uh, but when oh, just naturally, I have better. Dan's leaner than I am. It's he. It's uh, I have to work hard for my abs. It's hard work. So I, I can give that. Who says I don't? I didn't say you don't. Is it just, I just work. Hard. No, don't 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 further the misconception that abs are just because skinny people get them automatically. I work hard for my abs. That's a misconception. Oi, Mateus. Hey, Lara, how you doing? That's like kind of sharp. Hey, Robert. All right, we're gonna switch over to gameplay. I don't know what y'all wanna play. Um, I was supposed to start a poll. I don't know if these polls work. I don't know which one. I think I should pick one. Hmm. Should we play Trivia Murder Party? Because it's like... Oh, well, that's nice. Okay, well... For those of you who don't know how to play Jackbox TV, uh, I need to get back. For those of you who don't know how to play this, um, you need to go to jackbox.tv. It's only going to accept the first six people, I guess, that join us in the game. So you got to be quick once I give you the code. I usually would be more organized about this, but for some reason, some of my streaming tools aren't working properly. So what we're going to do is I'm not going to show you the code. I'm just going to give them to you all once Nick and I are able to get in. Otherwise, y'all be playing with each other and I could just be commenting, which could be fun, but not fun for me. So, um, Ski, this is a trivia game, by the way. So you may die in it. And it's very appropriate for Halloween. So Nick, get out your phone. Get your phone out. This person, I'm just reading the comments, they, why do I work out at night instead of the morning? I am not a morning person. I despise, I can't do morning, so that's because, why I work out at night. Because not a morning person. And during the, I used to try to work out during the day, but it's just hard for me to get a focused workout in because people at work be calling me all the time. And I now just, as my phone vibrates and I wonder, what am I missing? Oh, also, if you go to jackbox.tv, um, before I, we give you the room code, Please, 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 once you enter your name, do not put anything lewd or annoying or any of that stuff, man. Let's just keep the chat clean. 
because some 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 viewers are not are younger. So let's just respect each other. Yeah. Esteban, ¿cómo estás? Hola. You're Connor. Hi. Hi, Connor. How you doing? Um, a white. All right. So if, let me type these things in. Or I don't know. Again, Jackbox.tv. I'm gonna switch here for a second. Or the just chatting. Sorry. And then I'm gonna play. All right, Nick. Hi, Nick. Come on. Enter. Oh, I have to put it in my phone. Yes. Wait, huh? Okay, that's the code. There. That's the code. I'm waiting for Nick to put in his code and then y'all can come in. I'm slow. <laughs> then <laughs> Nick is going to make his way in. All right. I'm going to give, again, it's going to be a race from all of you. And if not enough people join, I'll just start it. Um, but then I'm going to switch to gameplay, and then y'all you'll, you'll, will see the room code. So, and then we can get started. Shall we wait? Blue Camila Cavacious. <laughs> Only fans is going to be mine. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Blue. Blue is going to be one of my mods. He's a very, very good friend of mine. Miss Venezuela. Miss you guys, school's crazy and you're a nice bit of a relief. Kohler, I'm sorry to hear that school is crazy. I, I hope everything's all right. It just started, yeah? I'm sorry. Get the table set tacos. I keep getting votes for tacos. Y'all are... The damn, the damn tacos. The damn tacos. It's looking like it's gonna be tacos tonight, Jesus. Hmm? It's looking it's like it's gonna be tacos tonight. Yeah. It's gonna be tacos. We're playing... Uh, it's called Trivia Murder Party or Murder Trivia Party or whatever. How are you waiting so for people? Just go, this work? Yeah. How many people can Okay, people join at jackbox.tv. No, how many? And how do you know who's joined? Once these fill in. Get it? So nobody's joined? Nobody's joined. <laughs> Nobody wants to play with us. <laughs> it's okay. We can also keep talking. I can also switch to Destiny once Nick goes. So, this is your only chance to play with Nick and test out his trivia chops which My are chops. not great. I actually am not that good at trivia, you're right. You're not wrong about that. See? Quick. We got Somebody one. Somebody joined. We got one. We got, we got one. We got one. All y'all. Why does Dan get to be a VIP? I don't, well, I don't get to be a VIP. What? It's because I'm the one that started the game, you dweeb. Uh... What are we playing? Oh, yeah. Do the people that you work with know that you have a social media following? Some of them do, for me. Um, so with them, somehow my my uh, phone number got tied to, um, got tied to the TikTok account, and then some people just started following me from there. And so they know my following, yeah. But then I blocked them all. Yeah, so co-workers are kind of hard to do things with. It's best to keep it separate. Yeah, it's best to keep it separate. Yeah, because it's just also weird, based on the content that we do, for people to do that. <laughs> All right, we're going to start with Conman, Dennis, and Qu Quizinator. I'm going to start with them, All right? That was it. Next time, if you want to join, just go to jackbox.tv. I want to play with y'all instead of you guys watching. I have no who that. This is so creepy. I'm gonna, gonna up this a bit. Nick gives strong Solar Hunter main vibes. Um, maybe. Maybe. Uh, welcome to Trivia Night, a slow descent into permanent madness. But it's also the feel-good trivia fun time here in the summer. You'll love it. 
Okay, listen to the instructions. Is this run for the Yes. Yep. And you still have time to join the audience and potentially get killed by me. It's fun! Oh my goodness, when you listen to me, going on and on like voices of the birds to tell me what to do. Let's get to the Hunter, so I don't know what Hunter is. Solar Hunter is destiny glass. Focus. What's the name of the professor that guides players to the basics of Pokemon hunting in Pokemon Go? Oh, shit. Oh god, I mm. know that. Mm. I answered, how come it doesn't say I answered? It says zero answered. Hmm? It says zero answer, but I answered. Mine says thanks. I just had, I had no idea. Oh look at <laughs> he's the only one that got out. Yes. Con man. You're doing great. I can't believe I answered that wrong. Look at him like shame on me. So Con man has Conan has all the power uh, over us. Which chalice? Am I gonna get? You're not. You. You're not. Uh -oh. you're, you're not safe. I don't get to. No, go. it's Conman putting the poison. It's your turn now. Damn. Pick a chalice to drink from. Okay, we need to pick a chalice from to drink from. Mm -hmm. It's like I have a brain or something. <laughs> yummy, yummy. Yes. Now let's see what everyone drank. I'm... Ooh, oh, Dennis. Yeah, you did. Oh, damn, we picked the same one. We picked the same one. Oh, good job, baby. I figured it looked the most poisonous, so that's why I think it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. Me too. I was like, hmm. Trivia is not just for those trying breath. Keep playing, and you might just rejoin the living. Never underestimate Dennis, yourself. keep playing, and you might rejoin the living. Don't give up just yet. Wow. Here's how everybody's doing so far. It's Good job, Con Man. How about this? You ain't dead yet. If Don't worry about it. Oh my god. I'm not gonna know that. <laughs> I can't. I'm gonna go something basic like yeah. I have no idea. I don't have any idea, but I'm, I picked my I made my decision. Y'all better not be googling this ish. Yes. Hey, Conman and I Already? got out. <laughs> I died. I, I was like, it has to be something British. She's British. Even though Jackson, I guess. Jackson, Jackson sounds very US. To yeah, me. I, don't know, I just told him the basic. Ooh, finger cutting. No, I like all my fingers. She's one of your fingers to cut off, Nick. Come on. Which fingers? The, it gives you numbers. How do I know what's what finger one or and four? It doesn't actually tell me. It's this one. One. I think one, two, three, and four. Right? Right? Four is my pinky. I guess I'm gonna lose my pinky if I gotta lose something. Feels like the least useful one. Why do I gotta lose a finger? Why do I gotta because it's me. Right? You'll see why. That doesn't sound nice. Anymore. You'll see why. You'll see why. Do better, audience. Yeah, audience. Let's try another one. I've started home brewing my own beer lately. It's hard though. I just can't get this homemade Zima to taste right. To what kingdom does yeast belong? What kingdom? Oh, oh I know this one. Ugh. Yeah, yeah. Shoot. I think I know this one. Guys, I swear I'm smarter than this. I swear I'm smarter than this. I don't claim to be smarter than this. I swear I'm smarter than this. I'm usually really good at trivia. Damn it. <laughs> I'm the only one that got wrong. <laughs> Nick, come on, you're me. What, what is this host? Ew. I hope you like futile exercises. Oh, man. Spin. Spin, my lovely spin. 
Watch your land on life. Oh, you died. Does that mean I'm out? Yeah, you're out. You're dead. Damn. Yeah, just read the comments. <laughs> yeah, everybody. Nobody's really writing anything, though. I don't know why. Well, no, I'm only getting Twitch one. So, no idea. Wait, can I keep playing? No, you can't. Well, I think you can. Oof. Okay, again? I'm not, I'm not this gay. Jesus. I'm gonna, just, I just total guess, total guess. You're supposed to still play. You told me I couldn't play. Dennis is back to life. This is insane. Let's get all artsy-fartsy. It's just probably feel some pressure right now. Unemployed. What? Draw this thing the best you can. Send when you're finished. Y'all are gonna hate or love. You guys are all gonna love my... Y'all are gonna love my art. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's not letting me play. You said I could continue. It is. Oh, well, well, I mean, you're dead. Yeah, but we're trying to save ourselves. I'm sorry, so I'm not getting to play. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. Pick the worst drawing. <laughs> it doesn't let me play. Conman says I'm allowed Jesus. to play too, and it won't let me. Oh, it's letting me. Pick, come Wait, on. What? Uh, what is this? They're voting for the worst. I missed it. This is what playing games with me is like. <laughs> no. I have a short attention span. Yes, you do. For some things. For other things, I have an like, obnoxious and long attention span. Oh, wow. Did I win? Did I just win? I won. I just won. Interesting. Uh, is this a thing I'm supposed to do? Or is this you? Type any items. Seven habits of highly effective people. Okay, I did. I did. I did. Why are you playing by yourself? I have no you idea. This game. You just be playing alone? No, all of you are supposed to be playing because you're supposed to catch up. See, you're supposed to catch up. You do. It's not giving me that option. Wait. Okay, you have to wait until he oh, has a question. Everyone gets one at a time. Oh, here we go. Any item that fits this category. Oh, you guys get, uh, the ghosts get an additional option. No, you're moving forward. Okay. You're supposed to catch up to me. I'm working on it. <laughs> Chewing gum brands. <laughs> Come yeah. one. Come one. I'm gonna pass you. I, are you? Because Conman's coming for me. Conman's gonna... There it is. Ooh. Move me forward. Ooh, Dennis is catching up. Mm-hmm. This feels very Halloween. Bone thugs and harmony members. What? I don't even know what that is. What? Are bone, what are bone thugs and harmony members? I take it it's a band. You need to choose, because look at the skull. I'm guessing completely random, but I've never heard of these people in my life. 
Me winning something? Yeah, I know. We're, I'm not gonna get to the lighthouse anytime soon, though. I'm at all. Last place. I'm terrible at trivia. Not gonna get to the lighthouse anytime soon. It's just not gonna happen. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle characters. <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle characters. Uh. I think any of these feel like ones I No, they don't. None of them? I thought I had to pick at least one. I knew none of them were, too. I thought it was a weird one. I thought I had to pick. Boy Scout wanks. I have no fucking idea. I'm sorry, guys. I, I was not a Boy Scout. So I am... Yeah. Did I get him? <laughs> Master Crota. Come on. We'll talk about Destiny some other time. Je oh, Jesus. Star is the only one? That's the only one I didn't pick. Oh, Nick, you're you're about to die. I'm the shadow's, this. The shadow's the coming shadow, for I'm you. For. I already, it's a long the time. shadow's coming for you. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, <there> it <laughs> <did goes>. <laughs> Ooh, Jesus. I uh, have no idea. I have no idea. No idea. Who played at the original with Sock? Somebody help. Help. I want to play. I don't even get to guess anymore. No, you don't. <laughs> what happens? That's what happens. Ooh! Ooh, Conman. Oh! He coming for the crown. Ooh! Oh, he Ooh! Him. He's alive now. He's alive now. He about to kill me. <gasps> what? Interesting. Nick, you're supposed to help me. We're a team here. I'm a lost cause. I already died. I'm in the shadows. I like it better there anyway. I'm a nighttime person. Ha ha! Oh, Dan's back in the lane. I, I am this competitive, guys. I am this competitive. Human bones. Oh, that's easy. Is it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know all of them. I don't know all. I don't know what Twitch is in slow mode, honestly. I don't even know what is going on with all of, like, I don't know what's going on with the, with the chat, honestly. Ooh. Ooh. You're dragging me, con man. Dragging me. I don't know why this is in slow Oh, that was an easy one. I know, I know countries are pretty good at that. I died! I died! Everybody died. Con man killed me. No, con man went. Oh. I don't know, the shadows run over. He everyone. dragged me. Stolen. Creepy. Con Man survives. Con Man, oh, you are up. the winner of this round. If you ever be a Twitch, just remind me that I owe you channel points. I'm not a Twitch partner yet, because I'm a baby streamer. Ah, oh. that was um. I died. <laughs> Well. Leaderboard. Look at that. I was last. But yes, you I were. Need, I need to get focused. I swear. I'm, I'm smart. I swear. Oh man. I swear I have brain. I have never been good at trivia though, honestly. Wait, what are the it's Twitch really stats? Oh, there's no Twitch stats. All right. I think every one more game. Your Connor freaking beat us all. Beat us all. Beat us all. All right. Chat, sound off if you want to play another round of this, another game, or if we should just go back to chatting. I just wanted to play a round of this because it felt very Halloween appropriate. But, you know, I kind of want a redemption round. Because I'm good. Promise. Promise. Unless I start playing Destiny. <laughs> I'm not that great. Alright, pick a game. Pick a game, any game. So do you want? Do you want a game? You're slow. Go. Do you want? Do you want? I don't know. What are the games? Okay. Play? Okay. Jeez. Back to back. Sure. Uh, okay. I'll let my boyfriend pick a game because apparently he wants to pick a game. I don't know what the games are. Quiplash. How do they work? 
We played this before. With uh, I mean, I don't even know what this one is. Then there's the there's Gaspionage, which is another trivia one. And there's faking it. Everybody gives an answer, but not everybody knows the question. No. Right. It's kind of hard with. What's the next one? Just scroll over so I can read them. Draw pictures, write slogans, and swap them around to create your own custom t shirt yeah. warriors. What percentage of people have buried something in the woods, written in the back of a cop car? Oh, that's fun. What? That's a picture of the Boston City Hall. Oh, yeah. The, uh, or like the City Hall, right? Yeah. That's funny. What's that, in the box? That's Boston. The box is actually Boston. It's Boston guys. City Hall. It's an absolutely Boston hideous building. Boston City Hall! All right. Let's try it. We're going to try Gaspionage. All right? I'm going to switch to just chatting. So Sorry, that, I have to go back in, or am I still in? Uh, you need, we need to enter the four-letter code. Connected. I need a new code. Yeah. We're doing uh, that. That's funny that that's Boston. Right here. I wonder why. It's like it's 90 degrees. degrees. What happens to air conditioning? All right. Ready? Are you ready? No. It says we're not. Oh, I spelled it wrong. <laughs> Nick spelled it wrong. That's fine. I'm really, I'm really making myself look great. You need to, you need to get an avatar. Get an avatar. Pick an avatar. Okay. This is how much he pays attention, guys. This is how much it is. It's been a long day. Your Connor. Thank you for complimenting my outfit. That may just give you some mercy. All right, guys, ready? Do people join? Not yet. No, because I, I didn't give them the code because I need to wait for your slow butt. Why you gotta wait for me? Because otherwise people join. And if they want, if for some reason we had a lot of interest and a lot of people joined quickly, then you would be out. Um, it doesn't seem like that many people are interested in playing with us though. Dennis is up. Dennis! Is this the one you follow on the other? These are our stream friends now. <laughs> yes. Conman's back. He's gonna beat you again. Conman's back. We have room for more. Again, you can just join by going to jackbox.tv, which is right here. I'll give y'all one more minute. And otherwise, Marlon, if you were in class, you would play. I'm sorry that you're in class. I know. I read that one a while ago. I was like, dang, that sucks. Chris and Carlos are joining. What's Crota? Vibe. Master Crota. What is that? Master Crota. Does anybody in the chat who plays Destiny want to explain what Master Crota is to Nick? No, I don't think they do. That's your job. <laughs> it's a Destiny. It's a Destiny thing. All right. 30 seconds for two other people Ooh, to join. We got, we got a few people. Quiplash. Quiplash. All right. Uh, Slytherin fit. They like your Slytherin fit again. Yeah, your Connor, who just bit, beat me at the other one. What's a destiny? <laughs> it's this thing that you can't control. That you're stuck with. Destiny 2 is currently under fire <laughs> as a community. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of drama, but the game is pretty cool. I, I liked it. All right, ready? We're gonna one three. Spot and Got one more spot. Last, last chance. There's last chance. chance. People. Nobody wants to buy. Two. I need like an auction mail. I'm sold to no one. Okay. <laughs> right. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go for it with seven people. Hey, your government here. We've been kind of, sort of collecting information about all of you. Now, before you get all angry and call your congressperson. Let's go. Turning it all into a game that we call Guess Let's have some analytical fun. <laughs> okay, who's first? All right. Oh, here's one we've been especially interested in. Don't ask me. Superhero comics. Mm hmm. I don't know what this is. What percentage of people prefer DC Comics characters, Superman, Batman, etc., to Marvel characters, Iron Man, Captain America? You're the one that's et choosing something right now. Try to guess the correct percentage as close as you can. So, so you prefer DC? You're, you have to choose a percentage. You're showing us what the percentage you think is. Okay, we have a guess. 
26%. Everyone else, do you think the correct answer is higher or lower? You can also double down and guess much higher, higher or much lower. Higher or lower. I feel like DC has just done a terrible job with the movies. And as a result, more people are gonna prefer Marvel. But DC is the original. DC, I feel like, used to be great, like in like cartoons and stuff when I was a kid. I feel like there's actually more DC. I just think they've done a really bad job. <laughs> I was not that far off. Superman also just like, oh, he just does everything. He's like, you look like Superman. Who you fight? I like You're my Superman. Yeah, you flex for the camera. I'm not even As for you, <laughs> Well, next up, what percentage of people assemble jigsaw puzzles by going outside in? What percentage of people assemble jigsaw puzzles by going outside in? Like at the outside of the edges and then in. I think I'm just really guessing here like random. <clears throat> Connor is uh, cheating. Connor is cheating. I guess Connor I, is cheating. I've never done a puzzle from the He's inside. He's a cheater. In. Wouldn't even where to begin. I guess that makes sense. Okay. It's a cheetah. Oh, it's my turn. All right, dude. What do you got? All right, Travis, bro. What do you have for this? Words of wisdom. Quotable quotations display tendencies. Blah blah blah. What percentage of people keep printed words of wisdom in a visible spot at home? Oh, uh, this is like the widest thing ever. Jesus. Okay. You have words of wisdom on the wall. That's not front words of, of wisdom. Well, and who? Some of some of us are white here. I didn't pick those. Um, I don't do I don't do like words of wisdom by the way, except on like um our little chalkboard. But that's because there are our own words that we made up. Sixty-three percent. What do y'all think? Higher or lower? I feel like people push this. I feel like this like is the so, best I feel like this is so common. The best are the decals that you just post all over the, the walls. Oh no. Oof. Oh, yeah. mm. Looks like an even split. And surveil says. Lower. Wow. Okay. Interesting. I, I kind of just thought that was more common, but maybe that's because I'm have a Let's bunch of right. white aunts and then it's like all Math and con man really going for that. Am I losing again? Okay, I'm getting You're not you're not losing yet. I'm not, but I'm not winning. Oh well I'm losing. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Socks with sandals. Ew, socks with sandals, disgusting. Please don't do that ever. Depends on what your feet look like last thing. Like ever, like commonly though. This is kind of vague. I've worn socks. They didn't be like, do I always wear socks with sandals or I, like? Is this like? Is I'm it, sure it's like because uh, it's kind of like generic ever, population. If it, if it's like, have I ever worn socks with sandals? Then no, that's not really an high answer. I'm break your you just broke my computer. Your computer also hit, hit my funny bone. All right, what percentage of people have worn? Forty percent. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I feel like everyone's done it at least once. No. And I'm going with like that. Well, it's like you're going out to get groceries, probably. It says have worn, not commonly wears, or like wears. I don't know why I can't see YouTube chat. I'm sorry. Oh my god, that's a lie. I knew it. I knew that's it. That's a lie. I knew it. That's a bold faced lie. Everyone's done it once. I believe that if it's like how often does it happen, but not like ever, that was a, it's a vague question. I blame, That's not I blame a the question. question. Connor says the question was confusing, so. It was, see? Thank you, Connor. And 
Connor was the winner, so his opinion matters. No. <laughs> Connor, you you really got bias here. By their middle names. <laughs> Dan. Dan does. No, no. Dan Dan is no. not his first name. Uh uh. Well Dan it wasn't even my name. Da da it's not Dan. Okay, yeah, Daniel. That's his middle name, just so everyone knows here. Twenty percent. Okay, higher or lower. Ba ba ba. Here we go. I'm one of them, so I have to. I have to believe in my people. I have to believe in my people. I don't think it's that common. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. I have to believe. Yeah, you should not be that tired. Wow, I did it. I did it. I got one right. Oof. I sure said much lower. Wow. Oof. Oof. Yoik. <laughs> Some of y'all are cheating. Some of y'all are cheating. I okay, swear to God. All right, Carlos. Open our database has some juicy data. There's Chris now. Huh? Uh -huh. What percentage of people suck on cough drops even when they don't have sore throats? Oh, that is so weird. Does anybody do that? I feel like that's probably somewhat common, but not like super common. That is so weird. Like people like the taste, or isn't quite, is it like cough syrup? Isn't there like something in it that people get a little bit hooked on? Oh, I have no idea. I kind of like cough drops. I just Everyone never have cough drops. I kind of like cough drops. I kind of like, like them, but don't have them. <laughs> uh, ooh. I don't think that's that common. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm going on. I'm going to go big bet. Big bet. A big bet? Oof, Nick. That's already how low percentage is this. What type of math are you doing? I just don't think it's common. And the correct answer is... But also, like... <laughs> what? <laughs> See, now my thought is, that, though, what if you have a cough but not a sore throat? Like, that was another bad question. But how on earth did that many people suck on cough drops for no reason? I had no idea. But they never have worn socks with their sandals. These, these questions are false. I have no idea why. Everybody's worn their stamps with socks at least once just because you were like in a rush or something. Come on. I have no idea, Nick. What percentage of people own bowling balls? Own bowling balls? That is so weird. None. That is so weird. So weird. Get them when you go there. Who owns them? I can't be right. I mean, Dennis, I think Dennis is onto something. Then it's done to something. <laughs> yeah, like who owns bowling balls? So the think of all the people that like. It can't be a big industry. Go to golf like bowling leagues. I'm just. Mm, yeah, I'll, I'll say higher. Higher than five percent. Why should be like seven percent? No way. Why should be? I knew it. No, I knew it. Twenty percent of people own bowling balls. Come on, that's ridiculous. I knew There's it. There's no way. Somebody in chat said thirty percent. There's just no way. I don't. I don't like any of these questions. I don't agree. <laughs> Am I up next to you? Where I? I think we're almost about to count. Oh, you and I have the same final round. Oh yeah. Okay. Totally skeet, skeet. I'm doing terrible. Popular answers to this question. For those two cowardly to do it face to face, what other method is most often used to break up with someone? Ghosting. <laughs> my <laughs> God. <laughs> oh my God. Do you have to face another method? Well, Excuse me. Carefully, only the three most popular answers are worth points. Ready? Gotta go. be text. Oh, of course. Gotta be text. Second choice. Oh. That's terrifying to break up some of the yeah, so That's like straight up cruelty. You can't break up with some of Ghosting is horrible. Even phone calls, that's harsh. You got like face to face. If you're committed to I don't have I don't have respect for ghosters. I don't. Those who ghost. The little Snapchat. Like the Little Snapchat ghost. Ghosting, that's just harsh. And what are the most popular answers? A letter? A letter? Who doesn't need a letter? Hey, that was, oh, those are close, that was good. 
I found a letter. Who doesn't be a letter, guys? I guess a letter's nicer. Connor again! Connor! Connor! See, Dennis said, like, what year is this from? A letter? Connor again. Connor with a Connor with a hit. Connor, if you, I'm, I'm glad you and I don't play Destiny together, because you would probably own my butt. What Connor says, what if it's a, fr a friend? If you're close with somebody, I don't. No, I feel like it's important to be, be like, you gotta give people that. It's hard to be close to anyone. Yeah. Yeah. The letter, though, that's like, I don't have the type of patience. And then we're like, what if they don't get it? How do you even know? I have no idea. I actually have no idea. What do you all think? What do you all think? This is not, no longer playing. Oh. oh man, now what? I don't know, we could chat for a bit and then you can you can be on your merry way. Cause merry way. And you can be on your merry way because I think you need to go work out, yeah? Dennis says he doesn't even know where to buy stamps. The post office. Mm -hmm. Is there anywhere else you can even buy stamps? I actually don't even know the answer to that either. I think the post office, the mail, but they then charge you to send you stamps. And it was like expensive. That's where I bought stamps once. And now I've been stuck with, I don't use mail stuff often, but I've been stuck with these Santa stamps since last Christmas. Santa stamps. Yeah. And I've been sending people Santa stamps all year, and I hate it, but it was the only stamps they had. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> My dearest Nick, I regret to inform you that we must part ways. Sincerely, but no longer yours, anonymous. <laughs> Is that how I should break up with Nick if we end up breaking up? <laughs> he got so sad. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, we've been together for eight years, guys. Eight years. Okay, it's spicy and fun. Uh -huh. CVS sell stamps? CVS and stores like that sell stamps. I didn't know that. I didn't know, I didn't know that. that. I, that's where I get my very cheap, uh, what you might call it, the, what you might call it, the, the Christmas wrapping, wrapping paper, jeez. That, that's the thing you thought of that you get at CVS. All the things you could get at CVS and you I thought I mean, what else do we get at CVS? CVS is a pharmacy. Uh, For those of you Everything who... under the sun. You get water at CVS, you get makeup. No, we don't. You get sunblock at CVS. Mm. You get paper towels, you get toilet paper, you get toothpaste, you get... I mean what I personally get. I don't get makeup at CVS. You buy everything I listed there except makeup. And wrapping paper is the only thing you get there you buy at CVS. Yeah, because we were talking about stamps. We were talking about... Like, what does stamps have to do with wrapping paper? I just trying to hear your logic. We, because I thought of like the little stickers that you put on the gifts. That's not a stamp. That's a sticker. I know. I thought of that. There's no. I, but like a stamp is a sticker though. There's no logic. A stamp is a sticker. There's no. A stamp is a freaking sticker. It's a stamp. Okay, guys, is a stamp a sticker or no? Not a sticker. It's a stamp. Nick's favorite toys on the sofa. Yeah, that's Stitch. I can't stitch. even point. Yeah, Stitch is right here. But that's technically, he, he bought it for me. You actually bought it for you at Disney World. I didn't buy it. In Epcot, at like the big I didn't store buy it. in the middle. I didn't buy it. We even bought a bag to we actually, actually bring him back. No, no, we didn't buy a bag. We had to empty your bag. Make it all somehow fit, fit in your bag. bag. Which I'm yeah, surprised yeah. Surprised we were able to do. That's actually impressive. So just Stitch could fit in Dan's bag. Um, yeah. Con Con Connor said, now, that it's uh, he, he answered he was the winner of the game, so what he says is true. A stamp is sticky, but I don't care if it's a sticker. It's a sticker, okay? It's a sticker. It's a sticker. Ugh, gosh. <laughs> I don't know how to say properly. I can't sit properly in anything. I need to move my and say weird angles. And then in the middle of the day, I get up and I say, like, oh, my leg hurts, oh, my ankle hurts because I've been sitting all weird all day. <laughs> That's he really does do crisscross applesauce and. Then and then he just like gets up and you hear him complain. You're like he's go he goes like ow my leg every single time. I'm like why do you sit like that? But if you are gay or know somebody you are gay, 
that's usually like a stereotype that's associated with us, which is we sit weird in chairs. We can't sit like a regular person in chairs. We have to like sit. How does this work? Is this just post as like a YouTube character? No, I have not set it to post YouTube videos afterwards. It's like as you can as you can't or you have to tell it to after. I have to tell it to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I I mean people could watch the stream as a YouTube video afterwards if I wanted to. Game volume is loud. I can't hear you guys well. Is it is it the I told Dan he doesn't listen to me though. I said, Dan, nobody cares about hearing the game volume. Turn it all the way down because they care about hearing your voice all the way. I was to like this 20, is the keep this going. is the background music. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I'm sorry, if it is too loud, please let me know. Turn Lucky toy, two hot guys fighting for it. Um <laughs> Yeah. Um, I, look at it, I guess, I guess Wait, it's seriously down. though, listen, turn it down. I already did. Way down. The, you know, do you know how audio balancing works? I do. And yet, okay, tell people how audio balancing works. It's above the halfway point and nobody cares about the background. They, this is, they want to hear what you have to say, so you should turn it down so they can hear what you say and not be distracted by the desktop audio. Keep going. Did you guys, do you guys hear the, the desktop audio? Does, better question is, do you think the desktop audio should be like... 90% down, so our voices are 10. Okay, anyway, nine, you are, you're arguing about so something so banal. Anyway. Because they can't hear us. Yeah, the gain is up. Make more videos with Stan Chris. He's your twink bestie, a fellow twink. We made one video with him. We met him once. I mean, we actually only met him once, too. Yeah, we only we met, met him, him once. once. Yep. Yeah. He's a really cool dude. He's actually very creative um, and very... What, what, like, driven? The guy's very driven. He has an ideas coming out. He does have the a lot wazoo. Of he has a lot of ideas, which is why you see him collaborating with so many creators, because um, he's he's got a lot of ideas. Um, but I don't know if the reason why we would hang out with him is just because he's a fellow twin. Yeah, you know, we gotta hang out with people. Not that we don't like him, but we gotta hang out yeah. with friends because they're friends. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um. Dan, what kind of See, fashionable outfit? Better when that desktop audio is down. Connor said it, he, he knows to turn it down. Okay, well, do you need me to turn it down more? I yeah. can turn it down more. Do it like 25%. Okay. There. There. Um, all right. Dan, what kind of fashionable outfits you got for us this winter? Actually, there's not that much fashion. There's usually fashionable items for fall, but not winter. Because winter's kind of hard, right? Yeah, winter's hard because you like, always end up wearing puffy jackets and it wearing everything out, and then it's like, mm, this is not as good. You, yeah, that's that's the truth, the honest to both truth. Um, also, because like I can, some I used to do this a lot, where like I used to quite honestly suffer. Like he used to he used to make fun of me because I would go out. In such a fashionable outfit, and I would be so uncomfortable, and, and cold, I would be so and he wouldn't cold. wear a hat, and he'd complain <laughs> about the winter. And I'd be like, well, of course you don't like the winter. You won't put on winter clothing. Unbelievable. And I, I did that for most of my twenties, and I'm still oh, in my twenties. You're not in your twenties. I'm still in my twenties. Oh, I'm still in my twenties. I'm old now. I'm still in my twenties. Look, let, for, me, let me look. For are me. you? Are let you? Let me try to find some gray hair. Are you still really teasing me? Are you teasing me? I'm 22. Do y'all believe this? I do you all believe this? 22, right? Everyone believes it. Do you all believe that he is younger than me? Oh, <laughs> uh, man. Um, um, I don't know. 22, 22 plus 8. Y'all are I'll outing me. I'll take that, too. Y'all are outing me. <laughs> I, no, you are 22 plus 10. Shh. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Hey, you're the, you're the one that was teasing me earlier. No. Did I? No? No, I was teasing you. I was <laughs> complimenting myself. Yeah, because you're forever 22. Yeah. 22, after that, it's like, what's the, what's the point? What's what, the point of all the other What's y'all's take on age? Like, you already turned 21, you can drink. Like, I guess next, like, rental cars are cheaper and insurance. That's kind of good, I guess, but... That's your take on age? Yeah. 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 So, Connor said no teasing. Sorry, Dan. 
Connor, you're you're now I'm gonna call you Brown Noser. If I ever do get Twitch partner affiliate, you're getting you're getting uh points all the less points, points. Right? more points more points. Oh, <laughs> well, you would have to join the streams for that. Um, oh, you have more questions. See Nick twenty two and Dan twenty. See Sebastian. Damn, so I can read the questions. Why you do that? S Sebastian, I'm reading this because for some reason this chat is not it's bringing in YouTube. Delayed. No. This oh, chat is not bringing in YouTube, YouTube stuff. It's not YouTube at all? That's sad. No. That's no good. Nick is 20, forever 22, Dan forever 21. I am a store. Very fitting. <laughs> <laughs> Very fitting. Forever 21. Uh-huh, uh-huh. To your friend who? Oh, hi, hi to your friend Justin. Oh yes, Justin's our favorite. Say hi to him. Say hi to him? Yeah. He's not here. Uh, well... No, Pat is saying, say hi to your friend Justin. I always say hi, I say hi to Justin like 4,000 times a day. Yes. He yes. talks nonstop. He does. He does. Why are you, are you guys, uh, for those of you who are actually outside of the US, are you, are you trick or treating? Are you allowing trick or treaters in your house? Or do you not mess with children? Or candy? Or both? As I'm reaching my 30th... I don't really do candy, I know. I don't feel like I do candy. What? There's a question about candy. I feel like I don't really eat candy. It's too sweet. I like dark chocolate in like, min lit, like the right quantities. The right quantities? Yeah. Uh, wait, who is Justin? Who is Justin, Nick? Justin is our absolute best friend. We love Justin. We do all the things with Justin. He's our favorite. And he goes on lots of trips with us. He spends lots of time with us. And... Yeah, that's who Justin is. He's uh, I don't think you described who he was. As much I as don't that. know. I did that. They were asking like who he is, and what we we spent time. You said a lot of what he means to you, but like who he is. Who is he? He's uh, that cheeky guy. Is his handle? I yeah. guess if you want to go to it. Yeah, he's at that cheeky guy. Well, he, he's a cosplayer. Yeah. He we actually met him through social media. He's via super Luke creative, so he always has tons of like ideas and stuff. He's a ton he's just so much fun. <laughs> he is very much a cosplayer, so if you guys see a lot of cosplay content in his in his channel, mainly TikTok, because he is a really avid TikToker. <laughs> Ew, kids, lol, but I don't eat sweets very often. Same, yeah. <laughs> Nick is more the sweet tooth, actually. I think you've turned into the sweet tooth more than I have. I have? I don't really do that many sweets, but... Yeah, I think like you can tempt Nick with a good chocolate chips for some reason or a good chocolate chip cookie or a good what else? What else? I feel like you have a weakness for sweets. I don't have a weakness for sweets. I really don't yes, eat sweets. Why do. do I eat sweets? I hate I have weakness for cheese and pasta. I mean yeah. But after that, what you like sweets. You like to cra you crave sweets. Mm -hmm. He has been in videos with, has he been in videos with you, Justin? If you're talking about Justin, yes, he has. Yes. There's a, actually a video from a year ago called Four Gays in something, something. Yeah. It was whenever we hiked Zion National. Yeah. Mountain, He's National. been in a bunch of TikToks with us too. Yeah. And there's like, we're all in Spider-Man suits. Oof, if you go like, if you, <laughs> but you have to too. go, you have to go like two years worth of content to like see us in the Spider-Man suits. So yeah. um, we'll try to make more content with him soon. Um, think you'll ever wear the Fallen Angel costume again. Do you remember that? Oh gosh, I'm like trying to even remember my own costume. That's a costume that you concepted. I know. Like your concept. And I don't even remember it. That's sad. Was that, that was one of our videos, wasn't it? Hey Jesse, how you doing? Huh? That was one of our videos, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was one of our videos. One of our videos. Um, we, uh, we made co uh, Halloween costumes for one another, and we went to Spirit. Yes. And picked... So, and I made yeah. Dan wear a whole costume. Yeah. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think I will, because we threw most of that away, I feel like. I have, uh, I still have, I even, oh, 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 oh. I feel like I still have most of this. I remember. So, my, I do love used, ice cream. Jay Phoenix is right. I do like ice cream. He used uh, my, um, my overalls. 
as part of my costume to create my costume, but those overalls were very tight in the crotch area, so I had to throw them away. Because like I couldn't like put the straps over. So even for that video even, like I had to keep constantly right. pulling broke, them down. It, they broke. I he broke he broke one of my little clasps. Little clasp snapped up. And, I fixed yeah. it though, I fixed it. And I don't think we threw the pants away, I think I kept them. Hmm? I think we kept the pants. The, the, I don't think the, oh they no, they they were coveralls. They were overalls. Mm -hmm. oh, I don't know. He doesn't even remember. We have no more questions. Nick, what's your fa what's your favorite ice cream? My favorite ice cream? Mm -hmm. Probably like a coffee or a mint chip or like a peanut butter cup or I don't know. I, chocolatey. I like chocolatey ice creams. Do you like fruity? Uh, I don't know. Fruity? No, I don't eat fruity flavors. He doesn't eat fruity flavors. No fruities for me. So he hasn't eaten meat. <laughs> That was a good joke. Oh, Whatever. No. Whatever. I'm so underrated. See, Connor was like, mint choco chip, baby. Uh, yes. Mint choco chip. <laughs> um, hi, Ariana. How you doing? Nick craves Daniel. Yeah, he constantly craves me. Billy asks, I love you guys, will we ever will you ever get married? Billy, if you wanna basically get Nick running the other way from this stream, please don't ask that question. What is it? He asked if we if we're gonna get married. Um no, I didn't ask him that. What is that for me say? You know, eight years. Super 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 soon to tell. Vanilla Reese's cup, that's good. I can do that. Vanilla Reese's cup. Yes. I don't I don't like vanilla that much. Cookie dough? I'm not huge on cookie dough. I like vanilla when it's like paired with like a brownie. You know, like whenever like the chocolate can mix in with the vanilla and make it chocolatey, I like that. But I don't like the whole eh thing, you know. Just yes. vanilla. Cookie dough, I used to eat cookie dough straight out of the packet, but not the ice cream, just like actual cookie dough. Mm -hmm. And I used to do it, I, had, I used to have this best friend, her name was, we'll call her Riley, and she got sick off of it. And she, I was the one that was panicking about getting sick off of it. And she was like, no, 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 you won't get sick off of it. I've done this since I was a child. And she, we both ate from it, but she got sick off of it and I didn't, which is weird. Cause I usually get sick off this. When are you going back to Disney stitched into sibling? Ironically, we went to Disneyland for the first time ever on, in April. Um, so that was our last time in Disney. And before that it was, like October 2021 was for my birthday, my 28th birthday, and I got so sick. <laughs> I got the stomach flu from that. Um, so yeah, <laughs> and we didn't get Stitches sibling. Stitches from our first um, uh, foray into Disney as a couple. And what, we, we, we've been there, again for like another another like another time right it's just been one more time that we've been there nick disney okay chat disneyland versus disney world disney world absolutely always why it's just bigger and more exciting there's lots more things i guess is tate our favorite coffee shop yes definitely it used to be flower so if you're a New England native or no New England or whatever, Flower used to be our favorite coffee shop, but then it switched to Tate. Because the coffee's delicious. Um, we're coffee snobs, I feel like, right? Oh, well, we definitely. Yeah. You guys are really in love and we can see the realness of you too. Thank you. Can you? Guys, he can't hang, he can't hang. I and know. he's calling me old. I have to do my things. He can't hang. Good evening, guys from Baltimore. Bye, Bob. Or good evening, Bob. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cause some, some inalia. 
Salmonella. Salmonella. Yeah. Salmon salmonella. Oh, salmonella. Yeah. yeah, salmonella. That's referring to the cookie dough, which, yes, 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 yes. You guys are basically married, just not on paper. Yes, basically. That's what I tell people when they ask me if, like, we're gonna get married anytime soon. Literally, the only thing that would change would be the ring on her finger. Because mm -hmm. I already deal with him as being my pain in my high knees. <laughs> he's a pain. But he's a lovable pain. He's a lovable pain, he's a cutie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. He's switching to Okay, destiny. token mail. Uh, October twelfth. Huh. Happy birthday! Happy belated birthday! Do you want me to switch to destiny? I can just keep chatting with chat. Do you, you can go do your thing. Chat. Do Nick is thing. gonna. Nick is gonna. I'm gonna come start out. my exercise with some cardio. Peace. <laughs> ah. Um. Connor, you're missing out. Oh. Okay, you didn't say bye to chat. I didn't even go yet. Oh, well, you kind of did leave to chat. Chat was like, basically like, okay, see ya. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye. Tell you love them. Oh, no. Tell them you love them. I don't need to do that. Tell them you love them. I don't know them. them. Thank you, though. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a weirdo. Uh-huh. Okay. <clears throat> Daniel, did you like? I don't know what that's. Did you like the pumpkin spice latte? Oh yeah, I had my first pumpkin spice latte. When? Um, I had my pu first pumpkin spice latte like a week or two ago, like two weeks ago. I don't know. I can't remember. But I had my first pumpkin spice latte, and it was not that great actually. <laughs> I actually did not enjoy being a basic girl. No. Uh uh. Uh, <clears throat> um, so I, I don't know how people do that, but I actually don't, yeah, I don't know how people do that, actually. Um, yeah. Make sure Dan, what? I, I didn't, I couldn't follow that. I can't follow that. I don't know why I'm trying. I really am trying to read YouTube comments because they're coming in through my chat box in live in the stream. But for the chat that I have managing the stream, for some reason, all YouTube comments are not coming in. So might as well go sign up to Twitch. Hi, Lisa. How you doing? Hopefully you're having a good Halloween. Here, I'll go get, I'll go get Stitch and Stitch can be my co-host. One sec. There, Stitch is my co-host. As for those of you who are asking like why Stitch or why is Stitch a thing, um, I don't know if you've seen that scene in Little Lilo and Stitch where Lilo's like praying for like, you know, Give me the best angel, the nicest angel you have, because after she's been bullied by the little bitches at her dance class or whatever, and Stitch appears, and Stitch appears like, like he looks like a hell rising or a demon rising from hell. He has like this maniacal laugh and everything, and I've told always told Nick that that, that I actually no cap, no lie, I re I've acted that actually happened in real life. I was coming out of my fourth relationship with another guy. And I thought that as a gay man, I was destined to be, just to be alone forever. Cause for those of you who have watched my videos and whatnot, I don't fit very, like the gay stereotype very well um, when it comes to just being in the community. Um, anyway, that's the story for another time. But I was, I literally was, my, my that abutted a window and the, the moon was up and I was actually just praying and I was like, hey, you know, if, if somebody's meant to come into my life, give me the nicest angel you have. And Nick is quite honestly a blend of stability, but also chaos. He is, he's Stitch. You know, like Stitch starts very chaotic, but then he comes to be like this very loving, stable per, uh, character in the show. And that was Nick essentially in my life he 
he was he's chaotic for sure he loves adventure he uh, always pushes for more but he's also just not he or he also can be very stable and very very sweet hey yusuf there's a delay that's sad i don't know where this delay is coming from I haven't switched any of my settings uh -huh. i can't believe that there's a delay i'm gonna have to reach out i'm gonna have to check that You've been in a two month relationship and now in your late, late twenties. You know, I'm gonna wish you all the best in that relationship. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter when, like the age at which, my mom just found her boyfriend. My mom went through three husbands and she just found a, a I actually met him on my birthday and she just found a, a, a guy and my mom's, going to turn 60 and she I don't know the guy seems really good for her so you never know when you're gonna find people the reason why I was talking about myself and why I felt like I was not going to make it was because it was just uh, honestly I didn't think I was going to look gay culture does tend to be very diverse, but also there's just like a lot of sexualization that happens in the culture. It's just the way that the culture is. It's neither a negative nor a positive. I'm just saying that's the way the culture is. And for a lot of reasons, I just don't quite fit into that mold. So, but if you do, or if you're, or even if you don't, don't, don't take my own insecurities and put in, I'm not projecting insecurities on anybody. Okay, YouTube doesn't have a delay, just Twitch. Good. Um, okay. Um, let me... I don't know why Twitch has a delay. Uh, it's so annoying. That is annoying. Um, but let, I can try to solve that really quick. Um, Nick is high maintenance. Yes, Nick is high maintenance. He is very much high maintenance. <laughs> um... Am I feeling better? Yes, I'm feeling better. I no longer have a cold. I had a cold for a, a while. You can speak Indonesian? No, I, I can't speak any Eastern languages. I cannot speak anything. We were talking about Justin earlier. He can speak Tagalog, I think a little bit of it, but I can't speak any of the Eastern languages. I can only speak Yo parlo italiano, je parle français, hablo espanol, and I speak English. That's it. That's all I can speak. I didn't believe in love until I met you guys almost four years ago. You give me hope. Oh, that's really sweet. But I would like a caveat with that. You know, I think like love is grown very much has grown. I feel really bad for all of these creators who, you know, putting out a relationship on display is quite a bit, you know, it, it has its advantages and it has its disadvantages. And, you know, you have couples, very popular couples, couples that were even more popular than Nick and I, like Chris and Ian or Nikki and Pierre who had a very public relationship and a very public breakup. And I think people are brutal. People are brutal. Because obviously the image that they were selling, it's as if like the product was suddenly off market. And people were so mad. It's as if like a Wi-Fi company or like your cell phone provider all of a sudden said, yeah, we're discontinuing services. That, that, that's how parasocial relationships, like that's how heavy they are. It's insane. Bonjour. Oh no, bon nuit. 
See, Jesse doesn't like PSLs either. Good. I found somebody else who doesn't like PSLs, which is great because I hate PSLs, honestly. I hate them. I don't know what it is. I think it's the aftertaste. But pumpkin spice lattes are not it. I cannot get into like basic girl fall, except for the fashion. But I cannot get into basic girl fall with PSLs, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I think a lot of like the, there, you know that there's a loneliness epidemic, especially with gay men. Like there's a loneliness epi epidemic. Um, because um, I think like it, it, you know, there's just I feel like a lot of factors that go into it. But whatevs, whatevs. Um, I do prefer the gingerbread one instead. I have not tried a gingerbread coffee. I have not tried a gingerbread coffee. Um, um, but yeah, people get way too invested in in parasocial relationships, and it's a, it's it stinks because like for example, there's like certain pieces of our relationship. Like people ask Nick and I like, why don't you kiss on camera? And why like they get mad at us for not doing so, and people have blamed us. For like faking our relationship online like people think that we're just two straight boys sometimes that are faking a relationship online and it's kind of wild <laughs> because we just don't kiss on, on in videos and they get mad they get like actually mad we get dms with like <laughs> people being like what the hell like gay baiters etc and it's just the, those are pieces of our relationship that we just are choosing to keep private um so yeah, it's kind of nuts. I'm down to um, give y'all, like, if you guys have any questions. Um, but we might be almost done here. We might be almost, unless, I mean, I can play Destiny for y'all. <laughs> I can, I can definitely do that. But um, I'm kind of nervous of doing it. I'm a shy boy, I'm a shy boy. <laughs> Us straight, yeah, yeah. People really think that we're we're straight gay baiters. In a sense, I do like the fact that <clears throat> I do like the fact that um people have been really I don't know. If you look at Gen Z, like I feel like the the lines of like masculinity and femininity have blended very nicely. But um, like in terms of clothing and stupid crap that would have it still ruffles feathers like men wearing nail polish girls wearing baggier clothes that type of stuff who cares you need not to kiss online to prove you're in a relationship yeah um i agree thank you danny i agree we don't need to kiss online um yeah it's a. Uh, it's kind of it's really hard it's really hard to have like that, that whole parasocial relationship because people do feel entitled. I think we even had some earlier in chat, actually, I'm just gonna blow people's spot. We had some earlier in chat who like, I think feel really brave behind a keyboard and they just say whatever crap comes into their mind, not minding if it's like offensive or super lewd or whatever, like I don't care if somebody's like commenting like on how hot I am, right? But then like there's a line, right, that crosses. There's like a line that you cross and you're like, maybe I shouldn't really say this because this is kind of like, <laughs> this is kind of a little, I, I don't know, maybe I, I only have that filter maybe. But um, yeah, people just don't like, the. if I could show you my DMs, it would be a whole different thing. <laughs> um, Is there a reason why we can't leave comments on your little King Dan on Instagram? Precisely for because of what I was just talking about. People leave... Ooh, sorry. Uh, people do leave, like... Um, like I, we were talking about earlier, like... Little King Life, I blocked all of my colleagues, all of 
everybody from there because it's just not I, I that channel that account wasn't made for them but little king dan a lot of my colleagues a lot of my family and close friends follow me there and then still people from coming in from little king life like they comment some of like the stuff that's so out of pocket that i'm just like jesus christ and it gets so out of hand that i can't keep up with the deletion of those comments i also just don't want to target people for their comments so i just turn off comments altogether on my personal <laughs> I like that y'all don't show that kind of affection all the time. I personally am not that affectionate, so to see others like that is inspiring. It's true. Um, um, and I don't know why the Streamlab bot, by the way, is being so Streamlab-y um, and so body. Don't pay, don't pay mind to it. Um, yeah, um, there are, there's different types of love, definitely in this world. There's very, like people who are very affectionate and PDA and that's, if y'all have learned about the love languages, any of you know about love languages, like that's a thing. Um, a lot of people, like the way that they show love is, you know, being on top of their partner, kissing them, hugging them, physical touch and stuff. And they don't mind doing it publicly and some other people aren't that way. And I learned that because all my past partners, all of them, we're very PDA prone. I was always kind of sad in the middle, like happy to hold your hand, happy to hug you, but like don't like let's not cross into let's not cross into like the um, into like the if we're like we're getting too all over each other. I don't I don't like it. Um, but all my past partners were very like on on top of stuff, and Nick was the change to that rule. He didn't like holding hands in public. He didn't like doing any of that. He was very like, in public, you and I are individuals. We don't have to be on top of one another. It's just, it, we don't need to constantly announce to the world that we are boyfriends. And I kind of got used to that because it's true. It's true. So yeah, I feel like romance movies oversell a bunch of stuff. I remember a comment you got on a short while back asking something super personal that was none of their business. I was not impressed with that person. If you're talking about that test test account, bro, yeah, I don't know. That, that guy really like, he, he goes off like that in every single video. <laughs> he goes off like that in every single video, but you know, um, I mean, that's that comes with the content of being, or the territory of being a content creator. So it's, it's a price that I signed up to pay. So, you know, it's fine. Have you put the Labrador to bed? <laughs> the Labrador is actually going up and down the stairs because that's the way he does cardio. So it's a six, like in our building, it's six or seven stories or whatever. And he goes up and down for 15 minutes and that's his cardio. So, you know, whatever that means. <laughs> I don't mind doing stuff in public, but only with very few to know people around. Yes, absolutely. It has to be people that you're comfortable with, right? Like, your friends are visiting or whatever, it's a little bit better. But like, if you're out, like for example, big family events, like Nick has a big family, and whenever we go to Thanksgiving and or Christmas or whatever, Easter or a birthday party, whatever, like, we're never like that, ever around family members. And not because his family is not accepting, his family is very accepting. They've known me for eight years, they've fed me, clothed me, they've been really loving with me. Um, but it's just not something you do at a family gathering. Like I don't sit on his lap and I just don't go like. <laughs> like, to me that's the most uncomfortable thing. Like if I was Nick's cousin or whatever, and I was just sitting by, <laughs> sitting by us just being like, uh, bro, <laughs> like, glad y'all love each other, but do you and Nick play pranks on each other? So who's better at them? I play more pranks on Nick than Nick plays on me. 
And that's if we're both in a good mood. Um, Nick knows better than to play pranks on me because I don't react well to pranks. <laughs> Nick is more lighthearted about pranks, so I play more pranks on him. But that's, again, if he's in a good mood. If I know he's cranky, I won't. Because that won't raise his spirits. That will definitely be like, you'll be like me. Um, I can't read a love language comment again because because this is being dumb. Um, and imagine doing that in front of the family. Yeah, I can't. Mm -mm. But you okay? So ironically, they're having family members that have been that way, and we're the ones sitting that like. So I left him out into the yard for exercise. Yeah, basically. Eh, he does. Uh, earlier in the chat, we were talking about how he does his own thing. He does his own thing at nights because he has to work out and do all of that. How do you find someone when you don't, when you feel like you don't fit in the game mold? Aside from praying for an angel like Nick, I do pray, but I do care if something's happening. Lol. It definitely for me. I still had to put myself out there, like. It's definitely a numbers game, dating. Like, I went on a, a lot of bad dates. <laughs> a lot of bad dates. Dates that, like, I knew from, like, the first five minutes. I had to power through them because I, that person and I were not going to fit at all. At all. And you just got to put yourself out there. And it, Because, ironically, people who don't fit in that mold, there are people that don't fit in that mold, that don't fit in the... Circuit queen, club goer, whatever mold. And um, by the way, I say those things. I, I worked at a gay club for years. Um, and it, it, there are people out there looking for the same thing, but how do you meet them? You have to put yourself out there. Otherwise, you, there, there's, I wish there was a magic way, a magic group, a magic Twitch group, Discord group, whatever, that you could like meet that was like, for non-seen gays, um, but there's not, there's none. Um, hey Mitch, thank you for all of your support, man. I appreciate it. Uh, when he's cranky, can't you just treat him to positive improve his mood? He depends on what he's cranky about. Sometimes he just wants attention. Sometimes he is hungry, so. But like, for example, dinner in this household is something that's decided on daily. Like, we don't buy groceries ahead of time at all. Like we don't because they might rot because Nick might be feeling today. For example, we're just arguing about tacos or pasta. So we might, we might have to go get tacos or pasta um, depending on what he's feeling. And sometimes I force, I force his hand. I'm like, like tonight, I'm not gonna eat pasta. I can guarantee you. Watch the update on Instagram because I'm, I guarantee you, I'm not going to freaking eat pasta. I'll update you all on Instagram. <laughs> we end up eating. I'm not eating pasta. Um. The one thing you guys can't hide is the look in your eyes when you look at each other. Something magic there. Yeah, I, I don't know. I've told Nick, look, even facing the realities of, of life and life happening, him and I have had conversations of like, you two, you, you and I are humans. We can't predict the future if we were to separate. Like, I, him and I have told each other like, this so many times. But like him and I would all, we're always gonna love each other, no matter what. Nick changed my life. I changed his. Think of it like whenever you put two balls of clay of different colors. I don't know if you ever did this as a kid, like two balls of like Play-Doh and they were all different colors and you started putting them together. And at the beginning, it's pretty easy to like pull them apart and they each keep their color pretty well. But then over these eight years, it's become like that ball of like new color. It I would say it looks like Jupiter with all the mixed color. <laughs> um, yeah. Connor, while I'm not doing a relationship, I'm gonna learn to love myself anyway. Yes, 
that's actually the, fir the first thing you should do. Not that you can't learn to love yourself in a relationship. That my relationship has taught me a lot uh, about myself. That I don't think I would have otherwise known had I not dated Nick. But it is definitely true that you should love yourself. Because you need to know your boundaries, you need to know where you stand, you need to know what you're able to give to a relationship without sacrificing yourself. What are what is my height and weight? I am five feet six inches. I don't know what that clocks out in centimeters, I'm sorry. I like the metric system. I should know. Um weight, it's at a hundred and twenty-one pounds. After I weighed myself today after going after doing the gym. That's where I am. Do you think Nick is just listening quietly around the kitchen corner right now? No, no. I can see the, the entire kitchen. No, he's not. I heard the door when he left. Uh, how about some nice baked mastacholi? I have no idea what that is. Sounds yummy. What about spezzo? Don't know what that is either. I'll look those up. You better get your tacos. I'm gonna get my tacos. You know I'm gonna fucking get my tacos. I'm gonna fucking get my tacos. Yeah, you should always try to be friends with your exes. Mm. Yes. I try to speak highly of my exes, except for the one that cheated on me. <laughs> that mother of a can, quite honestly, I hope he's doing better and I hope he's being better as a human being. I hope he's communicating his needs better in our relationship and I hope he, is being honest. But yeah, you're right. Like being friends with exes, like unless it was like a horrible abusive relationship that like couldn't even last as a friendship, I do think that you should be friends with your exes. If you can't love your ex, you never loved anyone. Again, comes with, it, there's a lot of dependencies on that, but as a general rule, yeah. I also just don't think, I don't think some of my ex, like we weren't like mature enough or grown enough to like, no, like love changes, even with the same person. I can tell you that the love, the puppy love that Nick and I first felt whenever we were falling for each other and whenever we started dating is no longer the love that we feel today. Like the love that we feel today is, was cultivated, was grown through lots of hard work and misunderstandings and communication and all of that. It wasn't just, you know, it wasn't puppy love. So it, it changes throughout time. Master Sholi is pasta, I know. I'm sorry, I'm not the pasta savant in my relationship. The pasta savant is my boyfriend. And technically, though he has Italian blood, he is very much a spaghetti, linguine, or fettuccine person. He, so the strips. And he, I hate angel hair, personally. I hate it, but he loves angel hair. Um, but like, I like other types. I like farfalle, I like, um, ugh, I like raviolis. I like all that type of pasta, and he's just, he's a little snob. I struggle so hard to love myself, but I'm getting better at it. Um, yeah, it's a struggle every day. I don't love, I, I feel like there are days I don't love myself either. I'm just being real, just keeping it real. Just gotta remind myself the worth that I bring, not only to my relationship, but also just the world, what I do. I'm not, gotta remind yourself, cause the world will definitely remind, like try to remind you of all the shortcomings that you have. So don't let the world win. Your ex messaged you for the first time in three years while you were on vacation in Hawaii. 
yikes um it's so funny because my my second boyfriend the one that cheated on me um he messaged me randomly because he found me on social media he randomly messaged me he's like hey how you doing have you seen that meme i'm like <laughs> i think it's like little people it's just like hey how y'all doing that literally was him in my dms i literally just left him on scene and i was like okay <laughs> he's a dj now Yeah, I'll maybe if this if live streaming if y'all like live streaming, I'll probably set up a Discord so y'all can we can have like a a tea session about exes and relationships. Happy Halloween, everybody! Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween. All right. I'm still debating whether I want to like stream Destiny or not. I may for a little bit and then I may dip out. Because I do have to go get the taco ingredients that I said I would. Um, Cause otherwise, dude is gonna go get pasta. He's gonna go get pasta, and I do not want pasta for Halloween. I don't. I know it's weird to say I want Mexican for Halloween, but then again, Dia de los Muertos has more connection to Halloween than anything else. All white. Um, I might just boot up Destiny for a bit, and then if y'all like it, y'all can stay for the rest of you who like to chat and everything. Um, thank you so much for coming. I love you. I love you. I'll still chat. I'm not going to just not pay attention to y'all. Um, but thank you all for chatting, especially the, the main participants. I love you. Um, thank you so much for supporting my first stream. I was fucking panicking going live i was panicking because in tiktok whenever i did it first i was just like i'm just going live in one platform i don't have anything planned i was just alone and bored but for this time around i was like i wanted to be like professional and good and it had nick in it and nick was asking me a lot of questions about how you talk to people in a camera and i had no <laughs> i was just basically doing like f five times um, again, Connor, don't pay attention to Streamlabs. I have no idea who Streamlabs is to say that to you. Most of my ex had to move out of the States for J1 visa reasons. Aww. I do feel like a lot of J1 visa holders come to the States and they really hope to find love. Don't reject your international uh, love interest friends. They... You know, I technically am one. I was never a J1 Visa fan. Yeah, and Nick was getting comfortable for sure. I think Nick, like once he start, started seeing you all type comments and questions and stuff, he started getting comfortable. But he had never been in a life. This was his first legit life ever. And uh, um, thank you for making him feel comfortable. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, once I become a Twitch partner, if you're in Twitch, you'll get the badges. In YouTube, you can actually join the Royal Court, so you can join the channel as a member. And that would be kind of like the same thing as a Twitch subscribe. It would just be a membership in YouTube, so you can do that. Are you guys going to watch a scary movie or anything tonight? We're watching, actually, for any horror fans, and I'm a big bookworm. That's how I learned a lot of how to be well-spoken. Um, anyway, anyway, Edgar Allan Poe, The Fall of the House of Usher. They have a show about it on Netflix that they kind of modernized it. It's amazing. I love it. We're watching. We're in, on um, episode three. And it's amazing. Thank you, Ariana. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Love you. 
Israel, ¿cómo estás? Qué guapo los dos, feliz Halloween. Feliz Halloween a ti. Se te quiere mucho un beso. Um, um, you've been stuck at work so you couldn't play games, no worries. We'll, I'll be streaming more, so we can play together anytime. It was my, it was my first stream. I'm like, uh, yes, girl, the suit is giving. Thank you, thank you, the suit. You'll always find me in a suit. Um, I feel confident in a suit. Ooh, ooh, maybe for the next stream, I'll bring this orange. It's like this clementine. Orange is my favorite color, for those of you who didn't know. Um, and I had like this orange blazer and I w brought it to work once. And you know what? One of the street men at that job told me, He was like, I think you're doing a little too much. I think the suit is a little too much. The blazer, a little too much. And I'm like, you wear black every day. I don't need your opinion. Thank you. <sighs> yeah. When straight men who have no idea how to dress, give me fashion advice, and tell me I was too much. Oh, I was wearing this earring too, he also commented on that. Anyway, <laughs> can you tell I'm salty? Because I don't mean to be salty, but... Seriously, it, it actually, he wears black shirts and black denim. That's all you ever see him wear. That's all you ever see him wear. And he had the gall to call me emo Luigi when I wore my overalls, the overalls that we used for that video, that the Fallen Angel video and whatever. This was before that, this was before COVID, so I still had the overalls and my body wasn't quite as like defined, so I could wear them without my crotch getting in the way. <laughs> and uh, um, anyway, the, I wore an all black outfit and he called me emo Luigi and I'm like, Bro, do you, do you own a mirror? Can I just point you to the nearest mirror? So you can see. <laughs> What do we do for a living? I am in digital marketing. Nick is in enterprise software sales. You always look amazing. I like how there's my bottle of Akinasia right here. By the way, this is what actually really helped for no not sponsored but echinacea is actually really um, good for colds and i didn't know that it's for your immune system so it's really good um much is never too much did you, did you if you guys know oscar wilde he has a quote that says um you can never be overdressed or over educated and i live by that quote I educate myself as much as possible, which is why I read like a madman. And I don't ever think I go overdressed to things. And if I'm the best dressed, then I was the best dressed. I wasn't overdressed, okay? So, yeah. I mean, that being said, I'm not gonna wear a black tie to a barbecue, but you know what I mean? Like, every moment, even if there are people that you've met multiple times or they're your family members or whatever you have a moment to impress the image that you give off is vital not because of others necessarily but because of you how you carry yourself how you dress is a, a direct reflection of what you think of yourself and does that mean you got to go out and buy expensive clothes right here where you see me these clothes were not balenciaga they are not name brands I shop for my clothes and I find them like at good sales or whatever. I just find things that fit me. But I always feel, I always feel on point. So when somebody tries to talk down to me, I don't feel talked down to unless they're being mean. But you know what I mean? Like I, hey Kelly, how you doing in Australia? What time is it in Australia? I love Australia. I just watched Heartbreak High and I loved it. I loved it. I loved that show on Netflix. Ugh. I was obsessed with it. Hot body. Thank you. I don't know if I can show my body. 
I will be posting some pictures that I took of this um, and I will there are some there are some that are shirtless I don't know sometimes later this week you're going to be watching game for the baseball world series have fun good luck to you I have no idea about anything baseball but if you're a sports if you're a sports guy go for it go team I don't even know who, who is playing I used to just know of the Rockies and I obviously know of the Red Sox because of Boston, that's it. Show me body, I'm not going to show you my body. If you wanna see me shirtless or whatever, go to Instagram. I can't do that right here. If somebody, yeah, anyway. Echinacea is great, yes, Echinacea is great. If you take Echinacea and zinc when you're feeling sick, it's like, it's great. Uh, what are your favorite high-end fashion labels? I don't have any actually. I if you go if you are in the United States and if you go to any Saks off Fifth, right? Uh, which usually they're the ones that sell last season's high-end stuff. Every single time I go to Fendi, uh, Gucci. Like all of the sections just to see what last season stuff was. I'm always so damn disappointed. I'm always like, I would never wear this. I would never wear this. It's just their name plastered all over a shirt or a hoodie or whatever. And at the end of the day, if you look at the material, I've compared some of the material on those shirts versus the material on some of the other hoodies and shirts that I have. Similar the percentages of cotton, polyester, blend, whatever. Whatever it is. Similar. The only thing that I'm paying for is the plaster, the Gucci, Balenciaga, whatever. So I stopped, I stopped buying high-end brands because I'm just like, this is a waste of money. And it impresses nobody, honestly. It doesn't. I can go well-dressed to events and, very, and strike very good impressions. Um, and I don't need Balenciaga all over my chest. Y'all know that feeling when you see a handsome or cute man and you're like, not again, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can I tell you guys my, I, my social media paranormal, par parasocial crush? Y'all are gonna laugh. Y'all are gonna laugh. But... If you ever watch this, I would be mortified. Obviously my boyfriend, right? Nick. But, um, no back. <laughs> okay, please don't burn me in the comments. But I think that guy, I think, it's not even the guy's looks as much as how nice he is. He's such a kind human being. And it, I almost went to his, uh, I don't know if you knew, but he had like a, uh, he has a whole like underwear brand now. And he was doing an open casting call for models. And I almost went to his casting call in New York because I was, um, I got that for Dan when I discovered their channel. Oh, thank you, Faceless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remind me to, Remind me to give you channel points. Oh, you're on, on, on YouTube. I don't know how those work, but I'll give you channel points. Should be somewhere around 11 a.m. in Australia if I got my time zone adjustment right. Australia. Again, watch Heartbreak High if you haven't. I loved that show. I'm also a sucker for like high school stuff, like high school movies, like Easy A. Easily one of the best movies ever. Um, but Heartbreak High, Mm, it's like, mm, it's amazing. I don't know, I don't know why. I think it, I thought it was just so different, but also just the accents and I'm um, being a basic American at that point. Whenever I'm saying it's just the accent, but it's actually like the accents are like. Mm. Only Americans have clothes, etc. That show brand names. Actually, no, no, because I've seen like a lot of international people that come to the US and subscribe to that. 
mainly I've, I've seen a lot of you know East Asian ones, Koreans, Japanese, the Chinese, like the the rich Chinese kids、um, that come. They they wear a lot、uh, of that. I've also seen a lot of Hispanics that come and blow their money on that, which is just nuts. I have a lot of hot takes on people blowing money on stupid brand names. It's not only Americans, because I've even gone to Europe. When I've gone to Europe, like I'm the I'm the loser, like shopping at like I don't know, shopping at like little boutique shops over there, and、uh, people are like walking around with like rag and bone and pull and bear and. Whatever. I have a huge crush on a South Korean actor by the name of Yim Soo Won or Yim Shu Won. I don't know who he is. Let's look him up. Let's look him up. Let's look him up. Who is Yim Shu Won? I could like try.、Oop. Let Let us look him up. Let's look him up, chat. You and I get to get to judge. But I'm not gonna. We're not gonna judge the person. Faceless remains intact. Nobody touch him. But、um, I just just the, the actor. And you're gonna say Noah, Novak, Novak. Did I ever watch Superbad? I did. I did watch Superbad. It's um. Um, let me see. This is Jim. Jim? I I think this is this is him. I think this is him. Please tell me this is him. Am I embarrassing myself? I did watch Superbad. I watched Superbad when I was、um, when I was、uh, actually like a teen. I found it so raunchy. Style is hard on a budget. No, it isn't. It isn't. It isn't. It isn't. <laughs>、um, if you have access to ASOS, ASOS, good friend. Look at the sales, the sales section. I'm like doing all this sponsored brand content. If I'm not even getting paid, but it's a really good resource where you can get stuff. And again, don't buy super expensive stuff. Start putting together your outfits, and maybe I'll make a YouTube video out of this once. But like, put together outfits that, or pieces in your、uh, wardrobe that can go with each other, so you can make a variety of outfits out of a few pieces. That's the that's the key there. And I can make a, I think. My husband is Sean Mendes. Okay. In the Nordics, people never buy clothes at show brands. I would assume that I, you know, that makes sense. That makes sense. Nor like that that Nordic people would do that. That makes sense to me. What's my Twitch? The Twitch is Little King Life. You can go to Twitch.tv/slash Little King Life. It's the the icon, the profile picture is a phoenix, because that is my spirit animal, or fantasy animal, or whatever. You've seen him on TikTok clips, and he's cute. Yes, sir. Do you have a skin on your windows? A skin? What do you mean a skin? I don't know what you mean by skin. Um. Do y'all want to see my boyfriend when Nick is not my boyfriend, or when Nick is pissing me off? That's my boyfriend when Nick is pissing me off. <laughs> no, if you ever watch this, I'm so I'm so sorry, but it's true. Um, Tom Daly. You can look at at Tom. Tom Daly never was like a oof for me. He was never like a oh my god. For me, the guy does have like a nice body,、um, 
The dude's never like a. I thought his husband and him were really cute always. Really cute. I'm just terrible at it. I need a stylish friend to raid my closet and show me. Ha. Huh? Um. You know, I used to think of the same thing, but I, I swear, I swear to God, it's like it's super easy. It's like it, it's not super easy. I know if it doesn't come to you naturally, it's not like oh my god, super easy. But also, it's not. It's not. I swear to God, it's not super hard. Um, and watch and like if you have a Pinterest or whatever. Try to like look at like pin um, or not a Pinterest, but like even Instagram, whatever your social media, like follow styles that you like because your style is going to be different than anybody else's, by the way. My style is different than any other, I feel like that other people would consider stylish. Like a lot of people, even when I've posted my fashion videos or my get ready's with me, a lot of people have criticized my sense of style, but it's just like my style is not for them and that's fine. That's cool. Not your style. I get it. Uh, I mean, your Windows looks like Windows XP and Windows you can, no, I didn't. I know, I just know that I have Windows 11 and um, I have an Alienware computer. So whatever that came default factory set. How to style in a budget, good idea then. Yeah, that's, I'll, I will make a video about that. It's a good, good suggestion. V of BTS. Who's V? V of BTS. Ah, ooh. You know who this reminds me of? He reminds me of somebody. Whoa. That's like a look. This looks very Willy Wonka to me. This get up, this outfit. Have you had any luck trying to find a house? No. This market's awful. This market's awful for any buyer. This market's awful. Um, so yeah. Finding a house, yeah, finding a house in this market is absolutely awful. Absolutely horrible. Nick and I have lofty goals, but the things that go for a million dollars in this market, like literal shacks, like crappy, shitty houses that would never in my million years would cross to me like, yeah, a million dollars. Are going for like a million three, million four? I feel like any home seller in this market can ask just for whatever they want. There's no like appraisal anymore. It's just kind of like, you know what? I feel like my shoe box on the side of the road is a million dollars. So I'm just going to list it for a million dollars. Let's go. And ridiculous. And if you look at the interior, the interior is torn to pieces, not great bones on the house. Things are shoe box. Mm. I've seen you collab in some videos with other YouTubers, TikTokers, like San Chris, for instance. Are you folks friends in real life? Actually, I may join. This is this might be like gossip at right now, so don't. It's not yet confirmed, but I may actually be joining San Chris. Um, him and I might be joining the same soccer league uh, for the winter, so maybe we will collaborate again. Um, Good quality basic clothes are a must. I can't see past that, but yes. True, 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 true. Absolutely true. Um, all right. 
I don't care if I'll ever own a home. I need a better job before that. Look, coming from somebody who has technically a good job, I have a good job. I am telling you, the boomers, I'm sorry, and if I'm sorry if you belong to this generation, no direct attack on you. Just on the governmental parties that be, that allowed this to happen. But they screwed us really bad. Really bad. They give millennials a lot of flack, um, but honestly, we're go we're really going to have to pick up a very crappy state of the world. <laughs> Bye, Yusuf. Have a nice time at work. Thank you so much for coming in and hanging around. See you next time. Oh, you know what? Speaking of somebody that really. that I really liked. But can you? This man. This man. He's the one that plays Zoro in the live action One Piece. Um, so if you're not an anime buff, One Piece is a, an anime. Um, and Nick and I actually watched the anime. So One Piece just came out on Netflix and we watched McKenyu um, play Zoro and it's... Mm. He's great. He, he plays a great Zoro. I liked the live, live uh, One Piece. So. Uh, all right. Um, the housing market got a bit our hand in Europe as well. Yeah, 20 plus years at 0% interest rate since the Ukraine war, the interest rates haven't risen to 7%. Yeah. Like the the costs of, of goods and services is insane. It's insane. It's insane. Um, and you know what? Like the the costs of education, the costs of uh, or <clears throat> just basically the cost of living, anything, goods and services, healthcare, all of that increased. Like has had a sharp increase more than like. I don't even know. It's a. I'm making. I'm making this up because I don't actually have the data in front of me. But it's like somewhere north of like 50 to 60 percent over the last 50 years. Like it's spiked. But the minimum wage has stayed the same since 2007 in the U.S. The minimum wage has stayed the same. The same. Uh, economics. Gotta love them. Gotta love them. Um. Yeah. So unfortunately. Uh, One Piece is awesome, yeah. One Piece is... I thought it was great. I thought it was great. The girl that plays Emily Rudd, the girl that plays Nami, I loved her. Uh, I think it's her name. I think it's her name. Like, these are type of women that make me question if I'm truly gay. <laughs> these are the type of women that I'm like, Like, this girl, I've actually, I haven't said this publicly before, but um, I actually had a, a real, like, live crush on a girl once. Um, it was, it, it was kind of insane. Um, I didn't know what to do with it. I felt so confused. I think, I felt like this is what a guy thinking that he was straight, that he's straight his whole life and he has a crush on a, on a, a man. Like, I think that's how I felt. I was like, I don't think I'm supposed to feel like this for a girl. I actually don't. Like, why am I feeling like this for, <laughs> for like a girl? And that's, that's literally what it is. Whoa, this stream is so ahead of YouTube. So is YouTube behind or is Twitch behind? I don't get it. I've, I've gone both. I've gone both. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if something's behind. I don't mean it to be behind, but that means then that you can... I, I don't know why YouTube's behind, but um, if... Just go to Twitch then. Twitch has been nice to me. Middlesbrough are looking to book their place in the quarterfinals of the season's Carabao Cup when they take on Exeter City at St. James Park this month. In other news, I have sand in my fridge. What was that? 
Monsieur Arteta, I would appreciate if you don't spam. So I'm gonna have to... I might have to ban you from stream if you spam. Please don't spam. Okay. He apologized, everybody. He apologized. I'll, I'll let us light this once. But yeah, please, guys, don't spam. Don't spam, don't spam. It provides a bad chat experience or a bad stream experience for your fellow... Your fellow peeps. It's not not nice. YouTube is way behind, trust me, it's not your fault. I hope it's not my fault. I really have I I'm multi-streaming for a reason. <laughs> I have no idea why YouTube's falling by. I literally have focused so much on all the settings, making sure everything is set, but whatever, you know. It's my first stream. I figured some things weren't gonna go right. Do you have mods here? Yes, I have auto mods, and I also do have um, two people that are mods. And they're just watching to see how the stream is going. They have their eyes on y'all. Um, that's that, yeah. Hi, it's trains time. Hello, hello. Paranormal activity box set DVD. Bro, Wilfie, no spamming, please. Don't, don't make it bad for your fellow chatters. Please don't spam. Spam Musubi? That's a good little Hawaiian snack. I have not had that. I haven't had spam, actual spam. Like I haven't had like, you know, like the spam that you find, you know. I haven't, haven't got that. Ah, Faceless, you joined Twitch. And for ignore Streamlabs, because Streamlabs have been yelling at people for just using caps. Ignore him. When you're ill, does Nick not post? I'm the one that mostly, okay. I'm the one that mostly runs our social media, except for shorts. Nick is the one that comes up with most of the shorts content because he likes to be real as much as possible. So those end up being, those end up being like, this funny thing just happened, let's recreate it. And that's what he likes. I have been trying to really focus on either streaming or if there's more curated content that I can create, I do it. Or if there's more pictures that I do, stories. So I'm more active about posting on social media than Nick is, yeah. YouTube is kind of burning itself to the ground with the way it treats some of its content creators, so, so them having delays and lag isn't surprising. <sighs> I feel it sucks to, to hear that because most of my community, right now I just started my Twitch community, so all of you are like porting over to Twitch, so, which I appreciate for those of you who have. But the ones that are still on YouTube, like I, the reason why I'm multi-streaming to YouTube is because I realized a lot of you are there. So I did it for your convenience, which is annoying. What's my favorite web language to quote in? JavaScript, PHP, etc. Everything is ja <laughs> um, <clears throat> One, I'm not much of a developer. Two, though, I, I have development knowledge. So for me, the easy one of the things that has been easier to grasp has been JavaScript. Um, I also just like messing with CSS styles just because it's fun. Um, HTML, I learned. For those who did MySpace, I don't know if anybody was a MySpace girly, but MySpace taught me how to do HTML. Everything HTML. HTML is pretty easy. Um, so you, my MySpace page used to be the sickest page. It was Mega Man. So and the <laughs> gaming content themed. It was Mega Man. Um, it was Mega Man like themed and like if you came to my page <clears throat> it was a little 8-bit Mega Man like shooting into my intro it was really cool um you definitely need a motor moderator on your YouTube videos look I go through my YouTube videos and now I'm 
I try to be pretty active about going and reporting people. I can't kick people out of my channel. YouTube doesn't allow that. Um, so YouTube <clears throat> does the moderation themselves. I can only report them as a content creator. And they, that's like all I can do. And then YouTube decides that, oh, okay, this person really is harassing somebody or not. So all I can do is report them to if they're harassing any of you or if they're like, if they are harassing us. That's all I can do. Are you thinking of making YouTube videos, perhaps talk about your profession, etc.? I am thinking of making more long-term uh, YouTube videos. I think Nick and I, Nick, we, Nick and I, Nick was here earlier. It's replaced by Stitch. Stitch is a buddy. Um, Nick and I were chatting about it earlier. It, we do want to do YouTube videos, long, long format, but YouTube, um, became a little tough for us to handle because there's a lot of spammers to the earlier comment and also we just we our life has gone crazy as of late but now it's hopefully getting better i don't know um but i know we we do have a lot of uh, long format content ideas that we're trying to do any plans to do any new merch actually if the stream kicks off there'll be merch for the for the stream and there's also going to be merch that we're already planning from now to release for next Pride in June. I wanted I wanted Pride merch to carry like a good message and something that you could wear that didn't have our name plastered everywhere, but something that you could wear proudly. Um, and it had a message and it was cool and simple. Um, so anyway, more news on that as we get closer to Pride 2024. But yeah, planning to drop new merch. Yes, absolutely love. I def prefer Twitch. I feel more of a sense of community with Twitch. I do too. Twitch, I feel like Twitch obviously because it's been so long, so long in the streaming game that they just have it down pat. And when it comes to community management and all of that, it's much better, um, so. That's why I want, like, if any of you who are on YouTube want to come to Twitch, I would appreciate it. I also will be streaming games, I promise, but I wanted to make the first stream all about you guys and make sure that I'm talking to you all and really focusing on you all. Sorry, what is Royal Court? What is this about? I know you, I know you threw your shorts, but not sure what this will be about. Uh, streaming, Roberto. Um, I will just be talking to you guys. Royal Court is what we call you all, our followers. Um, so that's what, um, that's your moniker, is our Royal Court. Um, so that is what it is. Uh, in terms of the stream, again, today I'm trying to focus on y'all, but uh, I am going to play games. Like the, the idea is either to play games or chat whenever Nick's here or if we're doing something particularly interesting in regular life, um, we're filming that and then um, the application that I have, I'm able to even stream from my phone. So it depends on where we're at and what we're doing, but mostly it's going to be gaming chatting because I want to just, I like this. I like chatting live with you all and I like interacting live. This is my jam. As much as I love editing and recording videos, because it's fun, don't get me wrong, uh, The answering comments and like things with a latency is very heavy um and that's part of the reason why long format youtube videos have been a bit of stretch there's a content thief <laughs> there's a content thief situation <laughs> myspace made css huge yeah Uh, if you use Python and your front and back in order, Python are basically uni. Again, I'm not much of a developer. Um, there's a lot of, I feel like the languages are evolving depending on what you use. If you're gonna use a CMS or a proprietary CMS, um, it depends. Um, but again, I'm not much of a developer. Like I am a pseudo developer in the sense that you can throw me in front of a computer and I can somewhat put cobble something together, but I'm not gonna be accurate like an actual developer. So if you're an actual developer, somebody's off better in hiring you than me. I haven't put the time or the effort in to really truly hone that craft. 
I want a giant stitch, I'm jealous, yeah. He's cute. He's really cuddly, and I love just like, I, whenever I feel sad, Nick and I have this closet, and we put a bunk bed on that closet, by the way. Um, I don't know why Nick thought that it was good to host people, but I don't know if you would come to our house and would like to sleep in the closet, because this is a one bedroom apartment. <laughs> anyway, so we have a closet, it has a bunk bed, and um, sometimes whenever Nick and I are stressed, and we just need like, uh, what is it called? Is it called a hyperbaric chamber? What is it called? Um, sensory deprivation chamber. That closet serves as it. And laying on him, he becomes my second boyfriend for that period of time. He's very good at comforting. Pin my Twitch. Pin my Twitch. Okay, I mean, I, I guess I can type it on the screen. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, I can do text. I can do text. Let me add the text. Um, Twitch.tv slash looking life. There's my Nicholas. Oh, he's probably calling me for dinner. So I may need to go. But anyway, I'll hang with you guys for another five minutes and then I will probably need to. But here's my Twitch. This is the Twitch right there, up here. <laughs> I'll hang with you guys for five minutes and then I do need to go because Nick is hungry and I can't let him get pasta. So, I will be leaving exactly at 7.30 my time. Is that good? Yeah, Tom, I'm glad that you like live streaming better because um, I agree, live streaming is better. I'm gonna like move this over here. I'm gonna move it on. How about I put it on, on Stitch's forehead? Maybe it's like <laughs> better. You can see it better there. Right there. This <laughs> right here. <laughs> um, see, also you're right because in terms of YouTube, I have no idea why, but like YouTube comments were coming into my stream chat and now they're not. No idea why. Who would have thought visiting you guys means I have to go in the closet? I know, ironic. You're visiting two gay people and you have to go in their closet. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Makes sense, right? Makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. Love. <laughs> I gotta go, Dan. I'll catch you soon. Gotta go pick up pick up meds. Okay. I love you. Thank you so much for coming and good luck picking up the meds. Hopefully, you and or your loved one feel better. Yeah, guys. I'm. We are, we are phasing out of this chat. I love you all. Thank you so much for coming, supporting the stream. I appreciate it. I was really nervous streaming for my first time ever. So I appreciate it. Um, I appreciate you coming and have fun and making it like the best it could be. Thank you for all the comments, all the love, all of that. I. I actually am really touched because I thought it w I was gonna come to the stream and nobody was gonna be here and I was just gonna be like, okay, I guess I'll just pretend I'm streaming. So thank you all for like hanging around, playing with us earlier, doing all of that. I appreciate it. Um, Streamlabs needs to chill. I will I will have a chat with Streamlabs, Connor. I promise. Um, and I appreciate you coming and being a great, great, great person and playing with us because I appreciate you, Connor. So I still need my revenge game, though. I still, you won both games. I can't believe you. Can't believe you. Over, you took, you raided my stream that way. Um, thank you, Token Mail. I appreciate you. I really appreciate you. Um, yeah, thank you, guys. I, I love you guys. Thank you so much for supporting the stream. I, Honestly, I'm very touched. Um, the fact that y'all just hung around for three hours and just chose to spend them with us. Um, I appreciate it. Have we been on Twitch in a long time? No, we haven't been on Twitch a long time. We have literally, this is our first stream on Twitch. It's mostly gonna be me, but I am gonna bring Nick along whenever he feels the want to be here. Um, 
because he's a he's my good egg. I love him. Sending love and big hugs to both you and Nick. I will give him that message. He's probably cranky in the other room, ready to go. You get food. <laughs> um, when others use your content, is I5? Who is I5? Who is I5? I wonder who I5 is. Now go get the tacos. I know I need to go get the tacos. Oh my god, I need to go get the tacos. All right, team, I appreciate you. I love you. I hope you have a lovely rest of your night. If you are logging in from the, re the other side of the world, I hope you have a lovely day. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. Um, and if you're just turning in, going to bed, I hope you have a lovely night. I hope you have sweet dreams. You deserve the world. Thank you for coming to watch the first stream. I'll probably be streaming again in a few days. 